The following is an exclusive sports presentation of KRDR Classic Hits 105.7 FM, a member of the Blue Sky Media Radio Network. Well, a good afternoon to you, Ranger Nation, as we welcome you live here to Glass Family Field at Meyer Stadium here on the campus of Northwestern Oklahoma State University for today's non-conference baseball midweek matchup featuring the visitors, again, out of Goodwill, Oklahoma, the Oklahoma Panhandle State Aggies, and your Northwestern Rangers. Again, first pitch coming up. Again, a single nine-inning matchup. First pitch coming up here at 2 o'clock. You'll catch it all right here on your home for Ranger Sports. Classic hits 105.7. Hello, everybody. I'm Dustin Goodnose. We welcome the broadcast. We'll be joined shortly by Steve Barrows, your Ranger baseball crew here this afternoon. Of course, all season long throughout the 2024 baseball season. Again, we told you uh, last time we were on the air that it was going to be April the 5th before the Rangers were back on here at home. Uh, again, but uh, a little bit of weather has caused this game that was originally supposed to be played in Goodwell here this afternoon. Well, they've had some snow out there in the panhandle uh, here in Oklahoma, so the game has been forced to be moved here to Meyer Stadium, so that's why we're here with you this afternoon here today for Northwestern and Oklahoma Panhandle State, uh, two teams that just met uh, not that long ago. In fact, just 14 days ago, uh, Oklahoma Panhandle State knocked off Northwestern 12-10, to 10, which we'll talk more about that as we open up our Dean Gall Real Estate Auction pregame show. That's coming up right after this commercial break. This is Northwestern Baseball brought to you by Holder Drug on the Ranger Sports Network, 105.7. Dean Gall Real Estate and Auction has been serving clients in Oklahoma and Kansas for nearly 37 years. If you're looking to buy, sell, or invest, we are your real estate professionals. We will get you the top dollar for your property, whether it be at auction or private sale. Get with Dean Gall Real Estate and Auction if you're wanting to buy a ranch, good farmland, sell or lease minerals, or buy a home. Visit our website at deangallauction.com to browse available listings. Talk to Dean, Steve, or Todd at 580-327-8217 or stop by the office in Alva where you're always greeted with a smile. Come and see us. Alva State Bank and Trust Company, older than Oklahoma, big enough to serve you and small enough to know you. We love to give back to our customers. Did you know Alva State Bank offers a great rewards checking account program? That's right. You can earn cash back or high interest with our Casasa accounts. We will even refund you up to $25 in ATM fees. How do I qualify? It's simple. Just swipe your debit card 12 times, sign up for online statements, and have one ACH credit or debit post to your account. Can I do it online? Yes. Just visit our website at www.alvastatebank.com to see if our Casasa Rewards program is right for you. We make banking easy. Whether you're at home, the office, or in your car, our online or mobile banking options help you juggle busy schedules and financial needs. We plant roots where others have branches. Equal Housing Lender, member FDIC. Spring is right around the corner and Holder Drug wants to remind you of our new information for the month of March. Right now, we have many bridal and baby registries. And if you would like to register with us, come see us in person. New items from Market have arrived just in time for spring break shopping. Check out these items in store or on our VIP Facebook page. As always, free delivery on your medications and prescriptions. Plus, free gift wrapping for your bridal shower. This all happens at Holder Drug, located on the downtown square right here in Alba. Welcome back to Meyer Stadium as we open up our Dean Gall Real Estate Auction pregame show. Again, getting us set for afternoon midweek baseball here today as Northwestern takes on Oklahoma Panhandle State. Rangers come in with a record of 20 and 11, 11 and 7 in Great American Conference, play 15 and 4 here at home at Meyer Stadium. The visiting Aggies are 11 and 22. They're 2 and 10 in Sooner Athletic Conference, play 6 and 11 at home and 2 and 2 so far on the road this season. The Aggies have actually played 12 neutral site games of their 33 games this season. Taking a look at the latest Great American Conference standings, Rangers coming off of uh, losing two of three on the road in Searcy, Arkansas this past weekend. That allowed Harding to overtake everybody as they're sitting up on top of the GAC standings right now at 12 and six, 19 and 10 overall. Right there with Harding is Southern Arkansas at 12 and six, Wachita Baptist and Arkansas Monticello at 12 and six as well. Southern Arkansas is 19 and 10. Wachita Baptist is 19 and 11. Tigers have won four in a row. Arkansas Monticello is 15 and 13. And right behind them, again sitting in that fifth spot, right now is Northwestern 11 and 7, 20 and 11 overall this season. Tied with Northwestern is Arkansas Tech and Henderson State. Both teams 11 and 7. Wonder Boys are 19 and 12. They've won five in a row 
Henderson State is 16 and 15 so far overall this season. Oklahoma Baptist sitting at 10 and 8, 19 and 11 overall. Bison have won four in a row. Southwestern at 7 and 11, just 15 and 15 overall this season. Swasu got off to a great start earlier on in the season, but uh, the Bulldogs have now lost seven straight baseball games. Southern Nazarene at 5 and 13 and 9 and 21 overall. East Central and Southeastern rounding out the bottom of the conference. The Tigers are 3 and 15 in conference play, just 6 and 26 overall this season. Southeastern is 2 and 16, 9 and 20 overall this year. The Savage Storm have lost four in a row, and they will be taking on the Rangers at home this weekend on Friday and a doubleheader on Saturday. We'll take another timeout, come back, have more of your Dean Gold Real Estate Auction pregame show next. This is Northwestern Baseball brought to you by Holder Drug on the Ranger Sports Network 105.7. Community Bank has been serving Alva, Oklahoma and the surrounding area since 1984. Community Bank was founded by local community members who wanted to ensure the banking needs of the community were being met. It has been our goal since inception to provide customer-focused services and community development. Our customers are friends, neighbors, and never just a number. We believe in investing in our community, and we pride ourselves in being your hometown bank. Community Bank, Equal Housing Lender, member FDIC. Do you need assistance taking care of yourself or a loved one? Beatles Nursing Home in Alva is here for you. We offer safe, high-quality, affordable nursing care while meeting all care guidelines for living. Call us at 580-327-1274 to learn more about our admissions process to place your loved one in our care. When it's time to choose a nursing home facility, we'll hope you'll consider Beatles Nursing Home located at 916 Noble Street in Alva. Welcome back out of our break. Let's run through your starting lineups today. Brought to you by the Alva Moose Lodge. We'll start with the Oklahoma Panhandle State Aggies. Again, 11 and 22, 2 and 10 in Sooner Athletic Conference play. Leading things off and playing second for the Aggies today will be Ryota Kuzumoto. Batting second, the shortstop, number 23, Jose Arrieta. Batting third will be the third, third baseman, number 12, will be Jeremy DiBartolomeo. Batting cleanup will be the first baseman, number 38, David Garcia. Batting behind him, the DH, number 34, Tucker Bond. Batting behind Bond will be the right fielder, number 6, Bo Spidowski. Batting behind Spidowski, the left fielder, number 21, John Cabrera. And batting eighth, the catcher, number 40, Bill Bonner. And batting ninth will be the center fielder, number 3, Aiden Davis. Getting the start today for the Aggies will be the junior out of Japan, number 37, Leandra Tamaki. And the Aggies are led by fifth-year head coach Sean Joy. For the Rangers, starting lineup will look like this. Leading off and playing first will be the first, uh, first baseman, number seven, Dylan Bradford. Batting second, the DH, number 31, Carson Wright. Batting third, right fielder, number six, Paul Sachin. Batting cleanup, second baseman, number 10, Hagen Barcelo. Batting fifth, the left fielder, number 21, Theron Perkins. Batting sixth, the center fielder, number 27, Trevor Sayer. Batting seventh, the third baseman, number 28, Colby Grace. Batting eighth, the catcher, number 15, Zach Batal, and batting ninth will be the shortstop, number nine, Jacob Wiltshire. Getting the start today for the Rangers will be the six foot two senior out of Wichita, Kansas, transfer out of Midland University, number 43, Ben Brown. That's again your starting lineups brought to you by the Alva Moose Lodge here this afternoon. Bring in my partner for the afternoon, Steve Barrels. Coach, good to be back here with you. And uh, well, we thought it was going to be April 5th, but it's March 26th. <laughs> It is. Uh, you know, I'm sure Panhandle, if it's that cold out there and they do have snow, it's like, yeah, let's go play. Let's go east three hours. And, yeah, that's uh, exactly right. And I'm sure the Rangers are not disappointed that uh, they have to stay here to play. Which I'll tell you, I was a little surprised when they said they were moving because it's cold here. I mean, it's obviously probably colder out there and it's sunnier here, but I woke up this morning. I mean, it was 30s, low 30s. I think they may be in high 20s at one point. Yeah, it was. It, uh, we had a... I, I, I guess you'd call it a hard freeze. And I think uh, again tonight, and I'm not sure what Wednesday morning's going to look like, but Thursday, Friday, Saturday, we've got a warm up coming. So, yeah, get this game in and, you know, hope the guys are ready and, and uh, you know, get a little bit of uh, revenge or draw a level with Panhandle today. Well, yeah, these two teams again matched up on March the 12th. The Rangers actually lost that one 12 to 10. They gave up four runs in the top of the eighth. Uh, they did come back with one more run in just the bottom of the ninth. The Rangers, though, were out hit that day, 18-14. to 14. 
As again, you saw a number of players play with that midweek matchup. Uh, we kind of expect to see that type of uh, situation again here today. A lot of guys maybe that haven't got some at-bats are going to get some playing time here this afternoon for sure. Yeah, I think that's a good idea. If you don't have games, you know, if you're just playing Fridays and Saturdays, uh, that's a big stretch for baseball players. Uh, so it's good you can get a game in. Well, there's other Great American Conference teams in action as well today in baseball. Oklahoma Baptist is going to be taking on – I hope the GAC baseball page would stop acting weird on me. Uh, still, Oklahoma Baptist is going to be hosting Southeastern today in Shawnee at 4 o'clock. Southern Nazarene is actually hosting Arkansas Monticello. Uh, other games in action, East Central taking on Bay Cone. Southwestern will be at Cameron. Delta State University will be in Magnolia to take on Southern Arkansas. Henderson State is hosting Mississippi College. Arkansas Tech is going to be on the road in Jackson, Tennessee, taking on Union University. And Harding will be... Well, Harding's game actually was canceled against Lane College. So a lot of other Great American Conference teams are going to be in action here uh, during the midweek before uh, all of them get back to it uh, over the weekend. And, you know, we didn't have a chance to, you know, obviously do the Harding game. It was on the road, but we all kind of kept up with it. You and I and Andrew were kind of texting each other. We we're all having an opportunity to watch it. And Rangers did salvage a game over there. But, boy, you look at it, the way they come back in uh, game two of the series, game one of that doubleheader, on Saturday, it looked like they really almost had an opportunity to take two or three. Yeah, uh, again, it's kind of the hitting. I, I felt like wasn't uh, timely enough or didn't, didn't get the runners moved over and then get them home. But uh, those were uh, two good starters uh, for Harding for sure. And I can't remember the third one, but uh, I don't believe he was a slouch either. But we, our bats woke up for sure in game three. No, it definitely did. Rangers dropped game one against Harding just three to one. Uh, and, again, their pitcher from Harding, as you mentioned, the, well, the top two pitchers, I mean, both the guys' ERA were, was below three coming into that series. Uh, and you could tell. And then Northwestern, you know, gets into the Harding bullpen. They come all the way back, tied at six. They lose on a uh, walk-off home run in the ninth to Harding in game one of the doubleheader Saturday. And then a nice bounce back win. You never want to get swept. You'd like to at least, if you're going to have, you got to go at least salvage a game on the road. Yeah, yeah. But, that, you know, that helps for the trip. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You know, if you're if you've got swept, it got swept. Good English, everybody out there listening. If you were swept, uh, that's a, a lonely ride, tough ride home. Certainly is, and you know, with Northwestern, you want to make sure at least if you know if you drop those first two games, trying to get that last game is important to try and stay level with the rest of those teams, the Great American Conference, because. You know, just looking ahead, Rangers are going to go play at Southeastern this weekend. You love the Rangers' chances there. Back at home at East Central again, you've got two really good opportunities to win two series. Uh, and then you've got Arkansas Monticello at home. The tough one's going to be on the road at Southern Arkansas coming up uh, in mid to late April. And then you'll finish the season, of course, against Southwestern Weatherford. So Rangers, again, really have opportunities to stay up in that maybe that top four and well, you know, the, the cool part about that, for those of you who don't know how the, the GAC baseball uh, postseason works, is, you know, if you're in that top four, you get to host the first set. You host the three-game set, and then the, the top four teams move on to Little Rock. Yeah, and we've been in that situation a couple times since we've worked together, at least two, I think. Um, well, and I was thinking about, you know, the, the Southeastern. One of the things our, our club needs to do, and it's all clubs, you've got to be good enough to win on the road. And, you know, obviously the games you, you think that you're favored and you're expected to kind of win, those are slippery. So, I mean, it's a mindset kind of thing, I, I believe. Uh, again, you, you face quality pitchers, but that shouldn't prevent your mindset from changing. And you've just got to go after it. And, and teams have got to win on the road to be really good teams postseason. They certainly do. And, again, Rangers will be back at home on Friday, April 5th, taking on East Central that weekend as we're going to go down to our uh, field mic as we're going to try and catch the playing of our national anthem.
Let's take a final timeout. We'll put a close to the Dean Gall Real Estate Auction pregame show. Opening pitch between Northwestern and Oklahoma Panhandle State coming up after this commercial break. This is Northwestern Baseball brought to you by Holder Drug on the Ranger Sports Network. Here at Bank Central, we like to shoot for three, and that includes our services to you. From fee-free checking accounts to competitive CD rates and all the way to consumer lending, stop by any of our locations in Alva, Enid, Woodward, and Cherokee, or call 580-327-1122 to talk with one of our qualified professionals. Bank Central, where we're centered on you. Member FDIC, Equal Housing Lender. Certain fees and restrictions may apply. Welcome back to Glass Family Field at Meyer Stadium as the opening pitch between Oklahoma and Panhandle State coming up. That opening pitch brought to you by Ridgeview Vet Hospital. Get, getting the start today for the Rangers. We told you the six foot two right handed senior out of Wichita, Kansas, number 43, Ben Brown. Brown enters today with an 8.1 earned run average. This will be his first start of the year. He's gone three and a third. He has made four appearances. Five hits, four runs, three earned, one walk, five strikeouts. Teams are hitting 357 against the senior so far this season. You know, Dustin, a quick thought I had is that, uh, you know, it's first start. As you go through a season, you look for that third and fourth starter. Who's going to step up and who can you go with, uh, you know, from pitch one uh, versus middle relief and closing. Uh, but all of our pitchers know they've got a very good defense behind them. And so they ought to come up on the hill and uh, and have a lot of confidence. Now that's a good point. Again, Rangers, one of the top defensive teams, not only the GAC, but uh, in all of NCAA Division II. This will be the 30th matchup between the two schools, series dating back to all the way 2007. Before that loss this year to the Aggies, Rangers had won, again, a number of games straight. In fact, eight straight before that loss. Last time the Aggies had uh, knocked off the Rangers, you had to go back to 2018. As the opening pitch from Brown is delivered and fouled off by Kuzumoto, and we're underway. Fouled it off his foot, but he didn't flinch at all. Must not have hurt, or he's just not showing it. Kuzumoto tops on the team, hitting 376, his 34th start of the year, 50 hits and 133 at bats as he looks at a cold strike. Count quickly, 0-2 now. Nice curveball there. Kuzumoto with 11 doubles, three triples, six home runs, and 24 RBIs this season as the 0-2 pitch just outside and off the plate. Count moves to 1-2 and two now. You said three triples? Three triples so far. So he's got some wheels. Three of the six for the Aggies this season. Ben Brown delivers. Swung out and missed for strike three as Kuzumoto reached out for that one. That's the first strikeout from Brown. That's the 22nd of the year from Kuzumoto, and there's one down. Yeah, he wasn't looking for that pitch. It, uh, he did try to foul it off to, to stay alive, but outside, breaking ball. Well, now to the plate, the shortstop, number 23, Jose Arrieta, out of New Bedford, Massachusetts. He'll look at a called strike. Arietta second on the team, hitting 366. His 34th game played this year, 32nd star, 34 hits and 93 at-bats. Has also scored 22 runs. He, along with Kuzumoto, has got 11 doubles as that pitch is fouled off and out of play. You know, it's early, but you said they had a sack record of 2-10. and 10. It's a little surprising to me. I'm, I, yeah, I'm right there with you with some of the numbers being put up by the Aggies this season. And that pitch missed there. Count moves to one and two. Here's the one two from Brown. There's a ground ball the left side through for a base hit and a one out single by Jose Arrieta. And the Aggies have their first base runner. Yeah, between third and short. Wasn't a rocket, but uh, it was hit well enough to, to split him. Well, now to the plate, Jeremy DiBartolomeo. Easy for you to say. Yeah, all right. Hitting 250 this season, his 34th appearance, 34th start of the year, 28 hits and 112 at bats. Scored 25 runs for the Aggies this season. Brown delivers. That pitch swung on a miss for strike one. Count is 0-1. 
to DeBartolomeo. Yeah, straight fastball right, right over the middle. Up about a little above belt high. Now the numbers on DeBartolomeo this season. The 28 hits, two doubles, one triple. Six home runs, which is tied for second on the team. As Brown delivers upstairs for ball one. Arietta is a bit of a threat to run. Does have two stolen bases in three attempts. The Aggies have, it as a team, 17 stolen bases in 26 attempts this season. Yeah, I always like to test the catcher early. 1-1 one, one pitch. That's a fly ball lifted into center. Sayer going back, going back near the track. Will make the grab for out number two. As the throw back in, Arietta retreats back to second. Carried a lot more than I thought it was going to. It did. I'm, you know, coming in, the wind was kind of gusty, and now the flag's just kind of, you know, limp. Uh, but now Sarah just tracked it, tracked it, tracked it until he felt the track, and then he knew he had plenty of room. So it was a nice, nice play. Out of the plate, first baseman number 38, David Garcia, a 268 hitter, 32nd appearance, 32nd start of the year, 26 hits and 97 at bats. As Brown checks the runner, now comes home with a breaking ball, in there for a cold strike. Garcia scored 13 runs this season. Does have four doubles, no triples. Leads the team with eight home runs and a slugging percentage of 557. Here's the 0-1. Outside and off the plate. County wins up 1-1. That was a really good pitch. Just off. But you got to be careful with the big guy here, it looks like, or sounds like. So. But you want to stay ahead of, him, ahead of him in the count if you can. Here's oh, Brown will throw back over. Did they get him? Oh, just getting back is Arietta. It was a nice pickoff move from Brown. Yeah, almost like he had like the runner almost had a little bit of a lean as if he was going to be headed into second or just thinking about you know the bounce on the pitch, but or the secondary lead for the modern era we used to call it the bounce. Garcia back in there facing a one-one count. The junior out of Woodward. Swung on and missed for strike two. Count moves to one and two now to David Garcia. He was looking to drive that one out of the park, wasn't he? It certainly was. Garcia has, again, struck out a team leading 42 times so far this season. Chance to make it 43 here, the one-two pitch. That one got away from the catcher of Atoll and now heading for second is Arietta. So runner in scoring position now for the Aggies here in the top half of the first inning. Yeah, it's unfortunate. Got to keep it in front of you as best you can. Looked like it went right through the wickets. So Arietta moves to second on the pass ball. Garcia back in facing a 2-2 count for Brown. Checks the runner, now comes home. Fly ball lifted into left. Perkins is camped underneath it. He'll make the grab for the final out, and that'll do it for the Aggies in the first. No runs on one hit, no errors with one left on. Bottom of the first we go. Rangers do up when we come back. This is Northwestern Baseball brought to you by Holder Drug on the Rangers Sports Network. You put in the work, and every day you go out and prove it again. You're an expert in your field. That's what farmers do every day. They go out and get the job done. If that's you, then Farm Credit of Western Oklahoma wants to thank you. For a livestock or crop loan, equipment loan, ag real estate, or operating loan, we will tailor a loan to your needs. Talk to one of our ag specialists by phone or stop by a branch today. Farm Credit of Western Oklahoma and Equal Housing Opportunity Lender, online at farmcreditloans.com. Get no better deal in the country than at Croft Country, located in Alva, Oklahoma. Croft Country is the dealer for vehicles in Northwest Oklahoma. Croft Country is locally owned and operated since 1985, offering a full line of award-winning brands, including Chevy and GMC. From the time you enter our showroom for sales or service, you can expect to be treated like family. So the next time you're in the market for a new or used vehicle, come see us right here in Alva, located at 401 East Oklahoma Boulevard. Anger, anxiety, worry, and disbelief. These are normal emotions to feel with an unplanned pregnancy. You have options, and you are not alone. Hope Pregnancy Center in Alva is a safe, confidential, and compassionate place to land. 
Hope offers free pregnancy testing and ultrasound, and you will be provided education for all your options. Remember, you aren't alone. We can help with hope. Visit thinkunpregnant.org. That's thinkunpregnant.org. Welcome back to Glass Family Field at Meyer Stadium. As we move to the bottom of the first inning, no score on the Community Bank scoreboard, Northwestern and OPSU. Getting the start today, again, for Oklahoma Panhandle State, the junior out of Japan, Leander Tamaki. Numbers on him this season, 10.24 earned run average. He's 1-6 in, in his starts. This is his 10th appearance, 8th start of the year, 29 innings, 43 hits, 35 of those are, or 35 runs, 33 of those are 19 walks go along with 31 strikeouts. Teams are hitting 344 against Tamaki this season. So leading things on for the Rangers, the first baseman, number seven, Dylan Bradford. Bradford, a 355 hitter, second on the team. 31st appearance, 31st start of the year for the Rangers. 39 hits and 110 at bats so far this season. I've got to mention, uh, Coach Phillips has, happens to be listening. Uh, Dustin is wearing your shirt, <laughs> so there's no pressure. First pitch as Bradford hits a ground ball to short. Here's the throw to first in time for Marietta and a 6-3 put out on the opening pitch. Last time these two teams played, Bradford did not play. It was actually Porter Pittman who led the game off for the Rangers. So now to the plate, Carson Wright tops on the team, hitting 417, 31st appearance, 31st start. Leads the team in hits with 43, third on the team in at bats with 103 this season. <coughs> Delivery to Wright is in there for a called strike, count is 0-1. Yeah, I'm all day long throwing outside corner to him. He's so good. Right again, the two-time Great American Conference Player of the Week. There's the 0-1, swung on a miss, count is 0-2. Behind on that pitch a little bit. Right with seven doubles, one triple, team leading nine home runs. He also leads the team in RBIs with 29 so far this season. Here's the 0-2 to right. He laid off that one as it's outside. Count moves to one and two now. You know, it used to be, and I don't know if it's uh, changed much, but rarely do you find the home run leading hitter also hitting the, for the best average. That's a good point. One, two pitch, misses low. Count even's up two and two. You see a guy probably closer to 300, maybe 280. Yeah. Has that Sammy Sosa average? <laughs> <laughs> I can't trash talk Sammy. I'm a big Cubs fan, but Sammy wasn't a great at for average hitter. So, uh, but he was an exciting ball player. He was. And last pitch missed, low and outside. Count goes full now, three and two. After right was behind, zero oh and two. Three two pitch, fouled back to the net. We'll do it again at three and two. Well, we have fans trickling in, even though it's chilly. They are coming dressed for the chill. Myra Dickey, uh, our regular attendee is here. She was here before the first pitch. 3-2 from Tamaki. Once again, fouled out of play the right side. I expect to see blankets out there today. I can't believe I said Myra Dickey. Myra Davidson. <laughs> Myra Dickey was a homecoming queen when I was an undergraduate here. It's, that's, that kind of stuff happens. Yeah. Here's the 3-2 pitch to right and the delivery. This for ball four, one out walk drawn by Carson Wright. That's his 28th walk of the season. That was a heck of an eye. That was just off the plate, and he took it. And again, Wright was down 0-2 in that at bat. Yeah. So now to the plate, the right fielder number six, Paul Sachin. Enters today hitting 250, 30th start, 31st appearance of the year. 15 hits in 100 at bats. He's also scored excuse me, 25 hits and 100 bats. He's also scored 15 runs. There's a high chopper to first, may get over. The head of the first baseman goes off the glove of Garcia and gets into right, and runners will hold up at first and second. That was a tough play over at first from Garcia. Yeah, we used to call that the AstroTurf hop. And uh, He needed to have about two to three more inches on him, and I think he might have, might have been able to make that play. Well, I think he was kind of flat-footed if he'd have maybe taken a couple steps back Right away, he would have been able to glove that. But. 
didn't look like he moved on the, on the hit. So an infield single for Paul Sachin advances Carson Wright to second. Hagan Barcelo, the cleanup hitter today, steps in. Hitting 309, 32nd start of the year. And Barcelo looks at ball one. Infield fly rule in effect. It'd be great to, uh, to get some runs here in this first inning. We've, uh, I don't know, we need to, to be scoring more in these first two, three innings. Make that a habit. Hagan with 38 hits and 123 at bats. That's a chopper hit down the third base side. Count of even up 1-1. One, one. Of those 38 hits, again, that's third best on the team. He's also scored 19 runs. Second on the team in doubles with nine. Does have one triple. Rangers as a team have six. Hagan does have six home runs and 26 RBIs this season. Playing him straight away. Here's the 1-1. One -one. Line drive down the left field line for a base hit. This will score one. It could score two as Wright is headed for home. Sachin's going to round third. He's headed for home and driving in two with a one out. Two RBI double is Higgin Barcelo. Well done. Well done. That's what we needed. So Wright scores from second. Sachin from first, and there's still just one out. Well, you asked for some early, early runs, Coach. There it is. Is that Joe Phillips' shirt? Heck, this could be a five-inning game. Well, last time these two teams played, Rangers just got one in the first, but got two now here in the first. A chance to add more. Yep. As Theron Perkins will step in, hitting 235, his eighth start of the year. Tamaki checks the runner. Breaking ball swung on a miss for strike one. Perkins with eight hits and 34 at bats has scored eight runs. Has one double, one triple, four home runs to go along with 11 RBIs. So he's hit mostly long balls when he's hit. No one pitch, ground ball down the third base line is fair. So score another one. Nice piece hitting from Perkins. He's going to round first. He's headed for second, and Barcelo will score from second, and then back-to-back -back doubles, and driving in one there is Theron Perkins. That just did go over the bag. Stay fair. Left fielder's thinking to himself, I may have a busy day today. Yeah. So just like that, the Rangers leading it 3-0. They've come up with three straight hits, two of those extra bases. As Trevor Sayre, the center fielder, will step in. Sayre hitting 253 this season. That pitch low and outside and off the plate. Count moves to 1-0. Saren is 27th start, 30th appearance, 25 hits and 99 at-bats. Has scored 17 runs this season for the Rangers. Three doubles, no triples, five home runs, and 15 RBIs. 1-0 pitch, fly ball down the right field line will land in foul territory. Actually land right off the wall. Got to move to 1-1. One one. That, that would have been trouble. It have been at least a double. sarah has got those wheels. I think, uh, goodness, the last uh, away series, I'm not sure that he's, I'm not, I think he play, played the third game. I'm not sure he played the first two games of that doubleheader. Yeah, I think it was Bejarano. Yeah. There's a ground ball down the third baseline. This time it's foul as the count goes to one and two now. Out in front of that pitch. So he's gone left side, he's gone right side. Going to have to guard the plate here. Try to get this runner at least moved over uh, if we can't score him. Here's the one two. Fly ball into right. Giving chase will be Spidowski into foul territory. Makes the catch. What a play there. Tagging up and heading for third, though, is Theron Perkins and a runner standing at third with two down. A nice play by Spidowski sliding down to grab that one in foul territory. He had to go a long ways to get there. I mean, that, that ball was up in the air, but it was uh, looked like it was almost drifting or slicing away from him. So now to the plate, third baseman number 28, Colby Grace. Grace hitting 263, 
29th start of the year, 31st appearance, 26 hits and 99 at bats. He's also scored 21 runs this year. As Grace hammers that one into center on the run, though, and making the grab was Davis for the final out, and that'll do it for the Rangers here in the bottom of the first as they do pick up three runs on three hits, no errors with one left on. Top of the second we go. Rangers lead it 3-0 on the Community Bank School Board. This is Northwestern Baseball brought to you by Holder Drug on the Rangers Sports Network. To prevent medication from getting into the wrong hands, it is crucial to store it out of sight and out of the reach of children and visitors. In addition, it is important to dispose of unwanted, expired, and unused medications in a safe manner. For more information, visit okimready.org. That's okimready.org or call 988 Oklahoma's Mental Health Lifeline. This program is funded by Northwestern Oklahoma State University, Oklahoma Department of Mental Health and Substance Abuse Prevention Services and Substance Abuse Mental Health Services Administration. When was the last time you evaluated your investment goals? With our ever-changing environment, it's time. Talk to us about locking in a high, long-term fixed interest rate and put your money to work for you. I'm Whitney Gum, and here at ENJ Financial, we work with you to implement a custom plan to fit your financial goals. Call our office today at 580-327-2552 to book a complimentary financial review. Securities offered through registered representatives of Cambridge Investment Research, member FINRA, SIPC. Advisory services offered through Cambridge Investment Research Advisors, Cambridge and ENJ Financial are not affiliated. KNS Tire and Alva has been locally owned and operated since 2004. While every business claims to be the best, KNS Tire is the best. Our satisfied customers speak for themselves by coming back to us each and every time. Our amazing services go beyond a regular tune-up or tire rotation. Our team is well-trained and able to take care of all your car care needs, including preventative maintenance, wheel alignments, brakes, and more. Visit knstire.com for more information or come see us at 2590 College Boulevard right here in Alva. Welcome back to Glass Family Field at Meyer Stadium. Rangers are going to go to the bullpen. We're going to have several of these, just so everybody knows out there here today. Take, coming in for Ben Brown will be the six foot three lefty, lefty out of Wellington, Kansas, number twenty three, Cade Phelps. So Phelps will start off here in the second inning. Phelps six point two three earned run average. He's one and one. His twelfth appearance. He's gone thirteen innings, seventeen hits, twelve runs, nine of those earned, seven walks, sixteen strikeouts. Teams are hitting 298 against Phelps this season. As the first batter he'll face will be the D.H. Tucker Vaughn as he delivers low for ball one. Tucker Vaughn, Bo Spidowski, and John Cabrera do up. 1-0. This one's fouled back out of play over the press box. Count evens up 1-1 to Tucker Bond. Bond hitting 276, his 17th start of the year. 23rd appearance, 16 hits and 58 at bats. Has scored eight runs, three doubles, three home runs, and 10 RBIs this season for the Aggies. 1-1 one, one pitch. That's a fly ball into left. Coming up, making the grab on the run is Perkins for the first out. And that wind's kind of blustery out of the west-northwest, it looks like. Uh, that ball didn't have any carry to it. Oh, it's calmed down a little bit, and then it kind of picks back up as, yeah. as folks will be able to hear today through our field mic right behind home plate. As Spitdowski to the plate, it's 219, his 25th start of the year. 14 hits and 64 at bats, looks at ball one. I probably mentioned it before, but in the 2000s, we had, I think, three Phelps uh, from the Phelps family Houston area pitch for us. And three of the girls played soccer for us. 1-0 pitch, apparently missed there. Count moves to 2-0. and Yeah, that looked good. Here's the 2-0 from the left-hander, Phelps. This one hit foul and out of play to the right side. It'll be right over the top of the OPSU bench, or excuse me, bullpen. I really think we ought to institute a, a situation, to kind of like video review, where you and I, if we think he's missed a call, we can just hit the buzzer and it shocks him or something. <laughs> yeah. Like, hey, we, we, we need to take a look at that one again. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> or rethink it, you know what I mean. 2-1 pitch, line drive right back up the middle for a base hit. One out single from Spidowski. Good piece of hitting right there. Second hit of the day for the Aggies. 
as Spadowski has his 15th hit of the year. Now to the plate, number, number 21, senior out of Puerto Rico, number, again, John Cabrera. Uh, the Phelps family, there's eight of them. They went to Clear Lake High School south of Houston. Phelps checks the runner, now comes home. That one gets away. Actually, may have hit him. It did. So Cabrera is hit by the pitch, and so runners now at first and second for the Aggies. Yeah. Just got away from him. So it's the fifth batter that Phelps has hit this season now. Again, Miles McDermott getting warm in the bullpen for Northwestern. Out of the plate, the catcher, number 40, Bill Bonner. A 244 hitter, his 18th start of the year, 11 hits and 45 at bats so far this season. Phelps checks the runner at second. Now comes home. That pitch swung on and missed by Bonner. Count moves to 0 1. Other numbers on Bonner are those 11 hits. Those have two doubles, no triples, no home runs, and eight RBIs. He's also scored two runs this season. Here's the 0 1 from Phelps. Fly ball lifted into left center. Should be Theron Perkins retreating back. He'll make the grab. Runner will tag up from second. He's headed for third and sliding in safely is Spidowski. So runners now at the corners for OPSU with two down here in the top half of the second. As we're at the bottom of the order, the center fielder number three, Aiden Davis. Davis with an opportunity to drive in a run here. His 31st start of the year, a 283 hitter. 26 hits and 92 at bats this season. Spadowski at third, Cabrera at first. As Phelps delivers inside for ball one. Phelps checks the runner at first. Here's the 1 0. Breaking ball in there for a cold strike. We have the VIPs down in the, in the dugout club. Uh, they're all probably a part of Mensa. Yeah. You got Dr. Ken Brown, Jody Evans, Pat Harkin, and Vern Metcalf. 1-1 one, one is upstairs for ball two. Those guys don't miss a home game, do they? They're yeah. as much as you and I are. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Here's the 2-1. That one bounces in off the turf. That one got away from the tall momentarily. Runners are going to hold, though, at first and third. Yeah, I can understand the third. The guy at third is still there. Runner at first base should be at second right now. Three balls, one strike now to Aiden Davis. Again, two down here in the top half of the second. 3-1 pitch, and it's ball four. So bases are full of Aggies now here in the top half of the second as we go back to the top of the order with Ryota Kuzumoto. Need to get this last out, get on top of the hitter here. Lefty versus lefty matchup here as Kuzumoto swings through that one for strike one. He struck out last time up. The only hitter that struck out today for Panhandle State. That was a sweeping curve and a sweeping swing. Here's the 0-1. Strike two. That pitch swung on and missed. Phelps ahead of the hitter now, 0-2. Infield's got to remember, this guy's got some speed. 0-2 pitch. That one got away from Vital, but it, runners will hold up. Yeah, he kept it. He blocked it and kept it close enough to keep that runner at third. One ball, two strikes to Ryota Kuzumoto. One two pitch. Outside and off the plate. Count evens up two and two as he can't get it to chase. Yep, he's thrown all four breaking balls.
That's a liner down the third base line. Just foul. Came with a fastball on that one. We'll do it again at two and two. Again, Rangers on top, 3-0. They're in the top half of the second. There is two down. Bases are loaded for Van Andel State. 2-2 two -two pitch. Call strike three for the second time today. Great pitch. Uzumoto is out on strikes in the Aggie strand three. No runs on one hit, no errors with three left on. Bottom of the second we go. Rangers leading at 3-0 on the Community Bank School Board. This is Northwestern Baseball brought to you by Holder Drug on the Rangers Sports Network. The Tacoma Farmers Co-op is a proud supporter of Ranger and Goldbug activities since 1916. They have been here to serve you with all your farming and ranching needs with a wide range of goods and services from fuel, hardware, fencing, tires, feed and seed, plus fertilizer. They're here to meet your needs. Choose to trade with a co-op that gives its profits back to you. To learn about the Tacoma Co-op Advantage, stop by one of five locations in Moreland, Freedom, Winoka, Jet, and Tacoma, or visit them at tacomacoop.com and get a better service at a better place. Naloxone is a medication designed to rapidly reverse opioid overdose. A person who is experiencing an overdose can't administer naloxone to themselves. Anyone can carry naloxone, give it to someone experiencing an overdose, and potentially save a life. That's why everyone should consider having naloxone. For more information, visit okimready.org. That's okimready.org. This program is funded by Northwestern Oklahoma State University, Oklahoma Department of Mental Health and Substance Abuse Prevention Services and Substance Abuse Mental Health Services Administration. 818 Diner has consistently provided the city of Alva with quality comfort food and great service since opening in 2019. Join us for breakfast, lunch, or dinner. Some of our popular menu items to choose from include the BCB Burger, the French Dip, and our staples such as Terry's Chicken Fried Steak, Don's Hamburger Steak, and Joe's Chicken Tenders. Open Monday and Wednesday through Sunday from 6 a.m. to 2 p.m. and open for dinner Wednesday through Friday, 5 p.m. to 8 p.m. So if you want a variety of menu items and friendly service to give you that local diner feeling, visit 818 Diner right here in Alba. And the junior catcher out of Plano, Texas, number 15, Zach Vitale will lead things off. Here's we open up play in the bottom of the second inning. Fouls that pitch out of play to the right side, and we're underway. Zach Vitale followed by Jacob Wiltshire and back to the top of the order with Dylan Bradford. Tell you what, Plano is loaded with uh, talented athletes. Went to many soccer tournaments there in Plano. No one pitch. There's a chopper hit to short. Arietta will field throw to first in time for the 6-3 put out of Vitale. And there's one down here in the second. Jacob Wiltshire will step in, a 239 hitter, his 31st start of the year. 21 hits and 88 at bats this season for Wiltshire. He's also scored 11 runs, has three doubles, one home run to go along with five RBIs this year. Saw him get a couple good hits our last road trip. And that one sails right over the head of Wiltshire for ball one. You know, when they're away, I catch innings and I miss innings, catch innings, miss innings. But uh, Jacob, I think I saw him have a couple of good at bats. Mm. Boy, that was a good pitch there. That breaking ball in. No spin low. Yeah, it was either low, or just or looked like it was. Oh, yeah, I was going to say one of the two. Here's the 2 0 pitch from Tamaki outside for ball three. Wilshire has walked eight times this season. Opportunity to make it nine. He's ahead of the count 3 0. Off the plate. <laughs> I caught that one apparently on the outside corner for a called strike. Yeah, I thought that was off the plate. But. Three balls, one strike to Wiltshire. Damaki delivers and low for ball four. It's a one-out walk drawn by Wiltshire, his ninth of the year. First walk issued by Tamaki now. Yeah. That, uh, Wilshire's got pretty good pace. Got a left-handed hitter here screening the catcher a little bit. Maybe an opportunity to try to get a stolen base. He said that was his first walk. It was actually his second walk as Dylan Bradford will step in with one out here in the bottom of the second inning. Good eye. Inside for ball one. To Bradford, who's 0 for 1 today. Grounded out to short last time up. I mean, we don't want to be too eager at, at the plate. If it's fat, go ahead, but otherwise make the pitcher work a little bit. 
One O's across the plate for a called strike. County ends up 1-1. Not really shading him too much to pull. Here's the 1-1. That's hit into right center and down for a base hit. Wiltshire will round second. He's headed for third. And moving the runner to third is a one-out single from Dylan Bradford. There was no hesitation coming around second base. He knew he was going to get there with that speed he has, Wiltshire. So runners at the corners now. Big spot here for Carson Wright, who walked and scored a run last time up. And this one's scheduled for uh, just a single nine-inning matchup this afternoon. Of course, coming up at 4.30 later on here on 105.7, you have Alba Goldbug base, Baseball at home. Up and in to Carson Wright for ball one. First pitch scheduled for 4.30 with that one. We'll probably miss an inning or two. Throw back over, getting back is Bradford safely. Get you a good pitch. Don't chase after one. No, oh, well, I'm telling you, that's it on the team. Bradford will take off. The catcher will fake the throw down. Stolen base, though, for Dylan Bradford. That's his eighth stolen base in nine attempts now. And I, okay, I, I don't know if they called that, but I disagree with it. I mean, make the throw. If you see the runner coming home, cut it and come home. So runners both in scoring position now as Bradford at second, Wiltshire at third. It's a 2-0 count to Carson Wright. Wright fouls it back to the net. Count will be 2-1. He did get a good pitch right there. Just got underneath it. I'd be surprised if uh, you don't see Wright out there at first or second. The other two guys home after his at-bat here. Pitch to right, just missed there. Got him, it's up two and two. Right, trying to drive in a couple of runs. He's got 29 RBIs this season. This one's popped up in foul territory as Bonner will give chase as it's going to get out of play and land just in front of the third row to our right. So right does stay alive. Wind helped kind of push that one out of the park a little bit. Yeah, it did. Uh, initially, I thought it was going to stay, and, and we're, going to, we're going to watch a catcher, watch his te technique on those kind. Those are tough balls. Two balls, two strikes, the hitter Carson Wright. Runners at second and third. Here's the 2-2. Two -two. Low for ball three. Count goes full now at three and two. One of the things about Wright, whether if he's got two strikes on him, even if he has no count on him, he's got a quick bat. And he doesn't commit his swing early, and that's what makes him such a good hitter. He doesn't have a long, loping swing. 3-2 to right. That's sharply hit to the right side, but foul. And that's fair, no question. Both runners score there. Right standing at second. First baseman's going, whew. Yeah. <laughs> Again, it's a full count to the hitter, Carson Wright. Tamaki delivers, swung on and missed for strike three. First strike out of the day for Tamaki, and there's two down. A big pitch. Yeah, kind of got under it. Got up, you know, he threw it up a little bit, and right just swung underneath it. His timing was there, just missed it. Yeah, it was a good pitch, and I should have kept my mouth shut a minute and a half ago. Down to the plate, the right fielder, Paul Sachin. Singleton scored a run last time up, back in the first. What's your teammate to pick you up now? Sachin fouled that one off his foot. 
Count will be 0-1. That's what I loved about baseball. You have so many opportunities to pick up your teammate if they've you know, either had an error or you know, swung at a bad pitch, had a strikeout, didn't move a runner, what have you. The next guy up, I mean, your first thought is, man, I'm going to pick him up here. Sagan with an opportunity here. Again, runners at second and third with two down, bottom of the second inning. There is a <laughs> line drive and a right down for a base hit. One run will come into score. Bradford's going to round third. He's headed for home, slides in safely, and driving in two with a single is Paul Sachin. That's it. Paul, pick me up, Sachin. Rangers now on top, 5-0. to zero. So now to the plate, Hagen Barcelo, who drove in two with a double last time up. He's got a good walk-up song, American Woman. <laughs> Fifth hit of the day for Northwestern. Sachin gets back on the throw over. Two outs. You know, there's a chance we might try to, there he goes. Sachin will head for second. Here's the throw down. And he actually gets away momentarily from the second baseman, but stolen base for Paul Sachin. Yeah, I mean, if Sachin gets picked, you know, you've got uh, Hagen leading off the next inning. So I, I like that move there. Make things happen. Runner in scoring position for Barcelo. Chance to maybe pick up his third RBI here as Tamaki delivers upstairs for ball one. And with station speed, just a single should score him. And with Sachin's third stolen base of the season in four attempts. Here's the 1-1. One -one. That one bounces in, got away from the catcher, Bonner. And Sachin heads for third on the wild pitch. Looks like they went hit right off kind of the shoulder pad after it bounced in there. Yeah. Some of you've almost got to lean forward and not lunge towards it, but step towards it if you know it's going to be short. You don't have much time to do that, but if you wait for it to hit you on the hop, uh, decreases your odds of keeping it in front of you. 2-1 to Barcelo. Ground ball to left side. See if Arietta can make the long throw, and he does in time for the 6-3 put out of Barcelo. And that'll do it for the Rangers in the bottom of the second as they do pick up two more runs on two hits, no errors, with one left on. Into the third we go. Rangers lead at 5-0 on the Community Bank School Board. This is Northwestern Baseball brought to you by Holder Drug on the Rangers Sports Network. Dean Gall Real Estate and Auction has been serving clients in Oklahoma and Kansas for nearly 37 years. If you're looking to buy, sell, or invest, we are your real estate professionals. We will get you the top dollar for your property, whether it be at auction or private sale. Get with Dean Gall Real Estate and Auction if you're wanting to buy a ranch, good farmland, sell or lease minerals, or buy a home. Visit our website at deangallauction.com to browse available listing. Talk to Dean, Steve, or Todd at 580-327-8217 or stop by the office in Alva where you're always greeted with a smile. Come and see us. Looking for the best in lawn care? Peak Environment has you covered. We offer a wide range of services, including full-service mowing, weed control, Christmas light installation, and more. Peak Environment provides efficient and affordable services across northwest Oklahoma with branches in Alva, Enid, and Woodward. Call our office today at 580-748-8003 for a free quote on any service. That's Peak Environment, 748-8003. Proud supporter of all Ranger and Goldbug Athletics. The Alva Moose Lodge is a proud supporter of all Northwestern and Alva public school activities and strives to be the heart of the community through fundraisers and community-based events that make a difference in the lives of individuals, kids, and families throughout Northwest Oklahoma. On a national basis, the Moose Fraternity provides at-risk children with a second chance at life and its senior members a comforting retirement at its five-star senior facility in Florida. If you would like to see how you can help make a difference in the lives of those in need, stop by the Alva Moose Lodge Monday through Saturday from 4 p.m to 10.30 p.m. at 302 7th Street to learn more. Welcome back out of our commercial break. We 
we come back to Glass Family Field, the Meyer Stadium. Dustin Goodwill alongside Steve Burrows. We move to the top of the third inning. Rangers on top on the Community Bank School Board, 5-0. to zero. A new pitcher on for the Rangers will be the junior right-hander out of Braintree, Massachusetts, number 50, Miles McDermott. As he'll pitch to Jose Arrieta. McDermott delivers just tied for ball one. Arietta one for one today. Singles, singled back in the first, advanced to second on a pass ball. 1-0 pitch, shows bunt. Oh, and a good bunt down the third base side. This is going to be an infield hit. Well done by Arietta there as Grace was charging, but we caught the Rangers off guard. Yeah, only chance he had was to barehand it. He didn't come up with it. And had he come up with it, I don't know that he had a chance to make that kind of a throw to get him. He, he got down that line quick. So an infield bunt single for Jose Arietta, his second hit of the day. Third hit for the Aggies. Last time uh, McDermott was on the hill here, his, uh, I believe it was his mom and dad were here, and he's got a special cousin, Bridget, listening at home in Massachusetts, probably. D. Bartolomeo will step into the plate now. He'll take a first pitch strike, count his 0 1. 0 for 1 today, flew out to center. I, I forget watching, too, not just listening, but watching. Yeah, that's right. Out there watching on the Ranger Athletics YouTube channel, that pitch from McDermott just a bit inside. Di Bartolomeo, Bartolomeo thought he got hit, but the umpire says no. Yeah, that, uh, I think it grazed him just a little bit. 1-1 one, one from McDermott, fouled back to the net. Kind of go to one and two. It was coming right back in our box, wasn't it? <laughs> it certainly was. I love it. MLB stadiums when those balls come back into the broadcast booth. <laughs> guys jumping and ducking. And well, McDermott, that one right over the head of the hitter. County is up 2-2 two, two now. Shoot the mitt here. Shoot the mitt. Get a double play. 2-2 two, two pitch. Bounces in. Nice stop from Vitol, but the count goes full 3-2. And the Rangers do have action of the bullpen. It is Matthew Potts up for Northwestern. Three, two, and it's ball four, low and outside. So runners now at first and second for the Aggies. Infield fly in effect. Out of the plate, first baseman number 38, David Garcia, flew out to left last time up. Aggies threatening here in the third, though, with nobody out. Rangers on top, 5-0. McDermott delivers across the plate for a called strike. Count is 0-1. He's a Yankees fan. So it's uh, Pat Harkin down there in the box, big Yankee fans. No one pitch. Might look good, but yeah, I, says no. Count even's up 1-1. One, one. And that's a big boy up there batting, too. I, he's got an upright stance, and that's what you gauge your balls and strikes on. 1-1. One, one. That one hit foul down the right, right field line. Actually hit off one of the... Light pulls over to the right, bounce back off into the bullpen. <laughs> Man, it'll stay with a left-handed pitcher up in the pen right now. Up on the hitter here. One, two for McDermott. Line drive down for a base hit down the left field line. Here comes the throw from Perkins. It will not be in time. Runner will score from second. And the Aggies are on the board. Great throw in from Perkins. Hit the cutoff man perfect. Hit that cutoff man. Sometimes, I mean, if it's right at the cutoff, you can, uh, that runner out there at second may be tempted to come off that bag a little bit, and then you go cut two and get that guy. So good, an R. Good base running. So an RBI single from David Garcia, his 30th of the year, as Tucker Bond will now bat. Again, runners on first and second. Nobody out. McDermott delivers. That one hit right into center. Sayre will come up, make the grab for the first out. Throw back into Barcelo, and there's one down. 
We're seeing that ball pretty good coming out of his hand. But I'd much rather challenge the hitter than trying to nibble around the edges and, and lose them that way. Those Spadowski now will hit. Singled last time up, back in the second. One of four hits today by the Aggies as they'll look at a called strike. Count is 0-1. Good pitch, knees. Infield fly rule still in effect with one out, runners at first and second. And Bridget, I can hear Bridget channeling him. Here we go, here we go. Here's the 0-1. That's across the plate. Count is 0-2 now. McDermott ahead of the hitter here. Hear that wind picking up. Here's the 0-2 pitch. Uh, outside and away. The tall just got away from him for a second, able to get it back, hold the runners at first and second. One and two now to Bo Spadowski. For most of us that live here, it's just a breeze. What you hear, you know, <laughs> it's, it's kind of common. A normal day. That pitch misses low and away. Count evens up two and two. On deck for OPSU is John Cabrera. Let's see if you go here with the, I mean, shortstop holding him on. You come with a breaking ball here. Uh, Swung on and missed for strike three. Blew it by him. And there's two down. Good pitch. Uh, get out of the inning with only given up one here. Reach back for something a little extra he there. Did, yeah. Yeah, I was thinking I might be, you know, if I'm a hitter, I might be looking for that breaking ball and going between short and third with it. There's a lot of room. Now we've got second baseman holding on the holding on the runner. Cabrera, who was hit by a pitch last time up. That first pitch to Cabrera misses high for ball one. Dermott checks the runner at second. Here comes the 1-0. Going outside. Count goes to 2-0 now. Okay, got to come with a strike here. And there's two down. Top half of the third. Rangers got three in the first, two in the second. Aggies have come back with one more here in the third inning. Here's the 2-0. That's in there for a cold strike. Yeah, I think Batter was just wanting to see a, a, a strike before he proceeded to be serious at the plate here. Dermick working quickly, delivers the 2-1. Missing low and out of the zone for 3-1. Take a deep breath. 3-1 pitch. That's in there for a called strike. Count goes full 3-2. See if McDermott reaches back for that fastball once more here. Here it is, the 3-2. Runners going, and it misses for ball four. And runners now. is going to be bases loaded for the Aggies. D. Bartolomeo goes to third, heading to second. Is Garcia and Cabrera at first after the two-out walk. Yeah, you got to force at any base now. That's an advantage. So back-to-back -back inning, the Aggies have loaded the bases. This time, it's got, they've got two outs. As Bill Bonner, the hitter, breaking ball in there for a strike. You know, it's, it doesn't have a big break on it, but it looks so much like the fastball that you just kind of you let it go. Here's the 0-1. Bounces in. Nice stop by Vitol. Yep. Turned his body at the right angle there and just kept it in front. Twisted. Count is even 1 1. And base is loaded here in the top half of the third. Rangers leading it 5 1 on the Community Bank scoreboard. 1 1 pitch. This one hit foul the right side. Honor jammed a bit there. Count moves to 1 and 2. I was hoping that was, wasn't going to be an excuse me hit that goes out in the right field and two runners score. Two strikes. McDermott trying to limit the Aggies to just a run. 
This is upstairs there, two and two. I don't believe I'd come with that curveball. Get that over. 2-2 two -two pitch. This one hit foul to the right side. It gets out of play. Fastball again. Off the bat of the junior, Bill Bonner. Originally out of Windsor, Colorado. Two two from McDermott and the delivery swung on and missed for strike three as he picks his second uh, picks up his second strikeout here in the half inning. Thank you, Bridget. Thank you, Bridget. Aggies do pick up a run on two hits, no errors, with three more left on. Bottom of the third we go. Rangers lead it five one on the Community Bank scoreboard. This is Northwestern baseball brought to you by Holder Drug on the Ranger Sports Network. Keeping your car clean is an inexpensive way to protect its value. Shirley Shine Car Wash, located west of Love, offers a six-bay self-serve car wash, including three truck bays. Your wash options include soap, tire cleaner, foamy brush, wax, spot-free rinse, and air chamois. And you can pay with credit, debit card, or quarter. Don't just clean the outside, clean the inside with its self-serve car vacuum. You can also clean your pet with their self-serve dog walk. Company vehicle? Be sure to ask about our fleet account. So the next time your vehicle needs rinse or detailed, come by Shirley Shine Car Wash, located right here in Alva. At Ignite Physical Therapy, we assist in the therapy of many different aspects, such as advanced problem solving, joint mobilization, treatment of adverse neural tension, evaluation and treatment of muscle imbalance, tissue-specific exercise, and patient education. Dr. Jared Hayda and staff want to get you back to the life that you had before your injury. They have helped so many through rehabilitation, and they can do the same for you. Stop by and see the staff at Ignite Physical Therapy on 520 Flynn Street or make an appointment by calling 580-327-3331. We know how much love your pet gives you. We're Ridgeview Veterinary Hospital. We're always here for you and your pet. Ridgeview Vet Hospital provides the most comprehensive care from regular checkups to emergency. Ridgeview Vet Hospital proudly provides veterinary services to all animals, large or small. Visit us today to let Dr. Lohman and his staff take care of your extended family located right here in Alva, or call us to schedule your appointment at 580-327-0201. Ridgeview Vet Hospital is a proud supporter of Alva and Northwestern activities. Welcome back to Glass Family Field at Meyer Stadium. We move to the bottom of the third inning. Northwestern leading OPSU 5-1. This call to the bullpen brought to you by Ignite Physical Therapy. Coming out to start here at the bottom of the third will be the Left-hander, junior out of California, number 39, Zach Mayhew. Numbers on Mayhew, a 9.35 earned run average. He is 3-0 as so he makes his 11th appearance of the year. 17 and a third, 27 hits, 25 runs, 18 of those earned, 12 walks to go along with 13 strikeouts. Teams are hitting 370 against Mayhew this season. As the first batter out there will be the left fielder, number 21, Theron Perkins. Perkins followed by Sayre and Grace. First pitch from Mayhew. Fouled back to the net. Count is 0 1. Yeah, we don't have a bio sheet on Perkins. And, uh, but I do remember, I think he said that his favorite MLB player was Steve Barrows. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, favorite movie, the Barrows uh, autobiography, or the, I don't know, yeah. <laughs> the Barrows Born Identity. No. Wish we had a bio on him. I had, God, forgot that. I have to get it. Unless he's under the witness protection program. That's true. And then, you know, you just don't want to disclose much. 1-1 one, one to Perkins. Goodbye. Oh, that's hit. Hard into left. A long fly ball. Left fielder going back, going back. Will make the grab at the track for out number one. Okay, folks. On most days here at Northwestern, that's goodbye. Yeah. Certainly is. That just that we the way it, it sounded. And So Perkins has what could have been a home run taken away from him, which would have been his fifth of the year. So Trevor Sayre will step in with one out, bottom of the third inning. Yeah, let's start something. 0 for 1 today, flew out to right last time up. As Sayre swings and misses there, and a pitch out of the zone for strike one. Rangers once again with action in the bullpen. No, that, okay, you're right. 
Pitch to Sayre, missing outside. Count is one and one. Ranger pitcher up is Matthew Potts. We expect him to come out to start in the fourth. 1-1, one, one. fly ball lifted it down the right field line. Aggies will give chase, and making the grab will be the first baseman, Garcia, for out number two. That's a nice play. So the Aggies trying to go one, two, three. It's the Rangers here in the third. Be the first time it happened today. As Colby Grace, the third baseman, will stand in. He flew out to center last time up. First pitch from Mayhew. This is low for ball one. We used to have a, it wasn't a rule, but it kind of was, I guess. Every inning, got to have somebody on base, at least one, at least one player. Every inning. 1-0 just missed there. Count moves to 2-0 <clears throat> now. Ball one. Two balls, no strikes to the hitter, Colby Grace. And the delivery. Inside for ball three. Grace has walked 12 times so far this season. Does have an on-base percentage of 339. 3-0. And it's ball four. So a two-out walk drawn by Colby Grace, his 13th of the season. As the catcher, number 15, Zach Vitale, will hit. It's all 0 for 1 today, grounded out to short. In his last at bat, that was back in the second. And he checks the runner. Ground ball hit to short. Arietta will field, throw to second, that'll do it. As Grace is thrown out at second, does it for the Rangers here in the third. We have no runs, no hits, no errors with one left on. Top of the fourth we go. Rangers lead it, though, 5-1 to one on the Community Bank scoreboard. This is Northwestern Baseball brought to you by Holder Drug on the Rangers Sports Network. Your agency of choice for all types of insurance is McDermott Insurance in Alva. For home, auto, farm, or business insurance, the McDermott Agency will protect what you value most by providing the best coverage and client service possible. To get your custom professional insurance review, call McDermott Insurance at 580-327-3500 or visit them at 526 Flynn Street in Alva. McDermott Insurance. They can't predict the future, but they can insure it. Alva Health and Wellness is Alva's newest healthcare option, offering a broad array of services geared to address today's most common illnesses and injuries. Alva Health and Wellness offers services for you and your child, including sickness, wellness, chronic care management, vaccinations, weight loss, and so much more. Find more information online by visiting alvahealthandwellness.com or come by and make an appointment with Jeremy Logston in person at 515 College Avenue right here in Alva. This month's sale is happening right now at G&G &G Home Furnishings in Alva. It's our annual President's Day sale happening through the month of February. Items on sale is everything from furniture to appliances to home or business decor from all of your favorite brands. You can also browse through our selection of mattresses that are on sale as well. So don't miss out on all the savings during the annual President's Day sale happening at G&G &G Home Furnishings located at 2107 College Boulevard right here in Alva. Welcome back as we move into the fourth. Rangers on top, 5-1 to one on the Community Bank School Board. New pitcher out there for the Rangers. Start here in the fourth will be the six-foot left-handed junior out of Pasadena, Texas, number 45, Matthew Potts. Enters today with an 11.57 earned run average. He's 1-2. It's his ninth appearance of the year. He has started six games, 18 and two-thirds, 35 hits, 24 runs, all those earned. Seven walks, 11 strikeouts. Teams are hitting 402 against Potts this season. As the first hitter to lead things off here in the fourth will be the center fielder, number three, Aiden Davis. As Davis shows bunt, and bunts that foul. We've seen the Aggies do that now for the second time, trying to bunt the first guy on.
Count is 0-1 to Davis, who walked last time up, back in the second. And a check swing hit right back to Potts, who turns and throws to first in time for the 1-3 put out. And there's one down here in the fourth. Back to the top of the order we go with Ryota Kuzumoto, who's 0 for, 0 for 2 today. Struck out swing in the first, struck out looking in the second. That fly ball is ripped down the right field line, going back, going back, and that is gone. Solo home run for Kuzumoto. Kind of got in that jet stream a little bit there. That's the way the wind's blowing and <clears throat> turned on it. That is his seventh home run of the season, and the Aggies back within three. It's now five to two. So a nice piece of hitting from Kuzumoto, his first hit of the day. It looked a little rough in his first two at bats, but we responded there. Now to the plate, the shortstop number 23, Jose Arietta. As Arietta, boy, bunt attempt, not good there. As bunt, his bunt attempt was missed, count as 0-1. He was trying to push that down the first baseline. Get a left-handed pitcher, and that's probably his thinking. The you know, one pitch, foul out of play to the right side, and quickly Arietta behind in the count, 0-2 now. He is 2-for-2 two two today. Singled and hit his way to second on a pass ball, then singled and scored a run in the third. Aggies have left seven runners on to this point, Rangers with three. 0-2 pitch. Liner down the right field line will hit foul. Just behind the OPSU bullpen. Count stays at 0 2. Here's the 0 2 pitch. That one bounces in. Nice stop by Fatal. Count will be 1 and 2 now. <coughs> One ball, two strikes to the hitter, Jose Arrieta. And the delivery. Call strike three on the inside corner. And there's two down. Well done that time from Potts. Yeah, I'm not sure. I don't see a plane. It kind of sounds like a plane. That, that. I was going to say, yeah, everybody else is going to get to hear that as well. It's a mystery. DiBartolomeo now will step in. 0 for 1 today. Helicopter. Oh. Count as 1 and 0 is that missed inside. How could I not detect that? Here's the 1 0 from Potts. Liner hit right to short. Nice play there from Wiltshire. Throws to first in time for the 6-3 put out. And that'll do it for the Aggies in the fourth as they do pick up one run on the solo home run of Kuzumoto. No errors, but nobody left on. Bottom of the fourth we go. Rangers leading at 5-2 in the Community Bank School Board. It's Northwestern Baseball brought to you by Holder Drug right here on the Rangers Sports Network. Alva State Bank and Trust Company, older than Oklahoma, big enough to serve you and small enough to know you. We love to give back to our customers. Did you know Alva State Bank offers a great rewards checking account program? That's right. You can earn cash back or high interest with our Kasasa accounts. We will even refund you up to $25 in ATM fees. How do I qualify? It's simple. Just swipe your debit card 12 times, sign up for online statements, and have one ACH credit or debit post to your account. Can I do it online? Yes. Just visit our website at www.alvastatebank.com to see if our Kasasa Rewards program is right for you. We make banking easy. Whether you're at home, the office, or in your car, our online or mobile banking options help you juggle busy schedules and financial needs. We plant roots where others have branches. Equal Housing Lender, member FDIC.
Spring is right around the corner and Holder Drug wants to remind you of our new information for the month of March. Right now, we have many bridal and baby registries, and if you would like to register with us, come see us in person. New items from Market have arrived just in time for spring break shopping. Check out these items in store or on our VIP Facebook page. As always, free delivery on your medications and prescriptions, plus free gift wrapping for your bridal shower. This all happens at Holder Drug, located on the downtown square right here in Alva. Community Bank has been serving Alva, Oklahoma and the surrounding area since 1984. Community Bank was founded by local community members who wanted to ensure the banking needs of the community were being met. It has been our goal since inception to provide customer-focused services and community development. Our customers are friends, neighbors, and never just a number. We believe in investing in our community, and we pride ourselves in being your hometown bank. Community Bank, equal housing lender, member FDIC. Shortstop number nine, Jacob Wiltshire will lead things off for Northwestern. Again, he faces Zach Mayhew. It is 1-1 count to Wiltshire. Fly ball hit foul as it gets into the parking lot to the left side. Wiltshire behind the count, one and two. As again, we're here in the bottom of the fourth inning. Rangers on top, five to two. Both teams with five hits apiece so far to this point. One two pitch. Bounces in front of the plate. County is up two and two now. It'll be Wiltshire followed by Dylan Bradford and Carson Wright for the Rangers. Northwestern again looking for their 21st victory of the season. Trying to make it 16 and four here at home. Aggies looking for their third victory on the road. They are two and two. One of those victories coming here a couple of weeks ago at Meyer Stadium. There's a fly ball into shallow left field. Running back, retreating will be making the grab will be the shortstop Arietta for out number one. So back to the top of the order we go with Dylan Bradford. Who's one for two at the plate today. Grounded out to short in the first. Singled, scored a run, and stole a base in the second. Rangers got three in the first, two in the second. None in the third. As Mayhew delivers, Bradford, Bradford will look at ball one. Aggies did not score in the first two innings. Picked up one in the third, and then the solo home run. By Kuzumoto in the fourth. Here's the 1-0. Catches the outside corner for a called strike. County wins up 1-1. One, 1-1 one pitch. Swung on a miss by Bradford. Count goes to 1-2 and two now. One ball, two strikes to the hitter, Dylan Bradford. In the delivery. Outside and off the plate. County wins up two and two. And this one's scheduled for nine innings here this afternoon. It was originally scheduled to be played in Goodwill, but moved here to Alva due to weather. 2-2 two -two pitch. That's a ground ball hit to second. Kuzumoto will charge. And then, oh, he lost it. Yeah. So reaching on the air will be Dylan Bradford. Yeah, I don't know if that hit in the heel of his glove and he tried to just catch the, the little hop out of it and lost control in his hands on the transfer. That's one that's going to frustrate you because oh, yes. clearly should have been out number two. Oh, yes. Now if you're Mayhew, you've got a runner on and you've got to pitch to Carson Wright. But you know, as a pitcher, you don't, don't always make great pitches and it is frustrating if a fielder commits an error and it should have been an out, but it, it goes both ways. Mayhew will throw over. Getting back is Bradford. Does have one stolen base already in the game. Eight stolen bases and nine attempts. First pitch to right. Catches the inside corner for a called strike. Yeah, I'm not sure. Uh, I'm not sure I'm challenging here. I, catcher. Looks like he's got a pretty quick release. We'll see. Here's the 0-1. Just missed there. Count evens up 1-1. Right, walked and scored a run in the first, struck out in the second. 0 for 1 so far today. Look for his first hit. 
the afternoon. 1-1 one, one pitch. Fly ball lifted into center. Going back is Davis. He'll camp underneath it. He'll make the grab. And there's two down. The right technique. Shielding it with his glove and until it came out of the out of the sun and right into his mitt. Well, now to the plate, Paul Sachin, who's had a good day. Single that scored a run in the first. Singled. Stole a base and drove in two in the second. As Mayhew checks the runner, comes home. This one fouled back to the net. Count will be 0-1. No, I might try it with in this situation. Catch your screen. I try a hit and run if we go to 1-1 count. Bradford will take off. That was called strike. Catcher throw down. Not in time. Stolen base again for Dylan Bradford, his second of the game, his tenth of the year. Ducks on the pond now. It's an old RBI expression. Sachin back in the box, facing an 0-2 count. Mayhew turns and looks at the runner. Now comes over the 0-2, way outside for ball one. And Rangers at home today, back on the road this weekend. As they travel to Durant. Single game Friday and a doubleheader on Saturday. 1-2 pitch. Swung on a miss for strike three, and that'll do it for the Rangers in the fourth. No runs on no hits. One error with one left on. We're through four, headed to five. Northwestern leading at 5-2 to two in the Community Bank School Board. Rangers will have a new pitch when we come back. This is Northwestern Baseball brought to you by Holder Drug on the Rangers Sports Network. Do you need assistance taking care of yourself or a loved one? Beatles Nursing Home in Alva is here for you. We offer safe, high-quality, affordable nursing care while meeting all care guidelines for living. Call us at 580-327-1274 to learn more about our admissions process to place your loved one in our care. When it's time to choose a nursing home facility, We'll hope you'll consider Beatles Nursing Home, located at 916 Noble Street in Alva. Here at Bank Central, we like to shoot for three, and that includes our services to you. From fee-free checking accounts to competitive CD rates and all the way to consumer lending, stop by any of our locations in Alva, Enid, Woodward, and Cherokee, or call 580-327-1122 to talk with one of our qualified professionals. Bank Central, where we're centered on you. Member FDIC, Equal Housing Lender. Certain fees and restrictions may apply. You put in the work, and every day you go out and prove it again. You're an expert in your field. That's what farmers do every day. They go out and get the job done. If that's you, then Farm Credit of Western Oklahoma wants to thank you. For a livestock or crop loan, equipment loan, ag real estate, or operating loan, we will tailor a loan to your needs. Talk to one of our ag specialists by phone or stop by a branch today. Farm Credit of Western Oklahoma and Equal Housing Opportunity Lender, online at farmcreditloans.com. Welcome back to Meyer Stadium. Rangers again going to the bullpen. Brought to you, this call the bullpen, brought to you by Ignite Physical Therapy. New pitcher on for the Rangers, the six foot four right handed junior out of Roswell, New Mexico, number 29, Drew Price. Roswell's famous for a lot of things. Transfer from New Mexico Military Institute is Drew Price. Price enters today, 7.31 earned run average. He's one and one. It's his seventh appearance, did make five starts this year. 16 innings, 23 hits, 13 runs, all those earned. 11 walks, 15 strikeouts. Teams are hitting 359 against Price this season. In fact, when you go back to the earlier matchup a couple of weeks ago, as Price's first pitch is outside for ball one. Price got the start against the Aggies, went three and two thirds, eight hits, four runs, all those earned. One walk, six strikeouts. And 18 batters face through 55 pitches. 1-0 pitch. That's a line drive at a left field down for a base hit. So Garcia has back-to-back -back singles in his last two at-bats, and the Aggies have the leadoff runner on. 
Just a line drive over to third base. Well, Price is a biology major. Out of the plate, Tucker Bond, who's 0 for 2 today. A pair of flyouts, one to left, one to center. You can complete the hat trick and make him go to right here. And what bounces in in front of the plate, Vital with another good stop. Count will be 1 0. Aggies with now six hits in the game. Rangers do lead it 5 to 2 as we're here in the top half of the fifth. <clears throat> We haven't, ha haven't had a double play today. Be a good time right now. I have not. Rangers have turned 22 this year. That one bounces in again. Another stop by Fatal. Count is 2-0. and oh. Rangers turned 22 double plays. Opponents have turned just 13 against the Rangers this season. I wonder if Fatal's got a, a clicker in his pocket for how many times he's yeah. been getting beaten up back there behind the plate. 2-0 pitch, line drive into left is going to be caught on the run, I believe, by Perkins. It was nicely done by Theron Perkins. And, uh, that's good base running right there because uh, the return throw from Perkins into first base was on a line. Certainly that was. Uh, that runner would have crept any closer to second. He'd have been a double play right there. I think the Aggies expected that one to get down, but I did too. I yeah. mean. <laughs> Perkins with a good jump, come up, made a good play. Just got that extended left arm. You see it ratchet out like eight feet in front from his body. Spadowski down to the plate. He's one for two today. That's a liner to short. We may have a double play. Six to four to three in time. There's the double play. And that'll do it for the Aggies here in the fifth as the Rangers turn their 23rd double play of the season. No runs on one hit, no errors with one left on. We'll move to the bottom of the fifth inning. Rangers lead it 5-2 to two in the Community Bank School Board. This is Northwestern Baseball brought to you by Holder Drug on the Rangers Sports Network. Get no better deal in the country than at Croft Country, located in Alva, Oklahoma. Croft Country is the dealer for vehicles in Northwest Oklahoma. Croft Country is locally owned and operated since 1985, offering a full line of award-winning brands including Chevy and GMC. From the time you enter our showroom for sales or service, you can expect to be treated like family. So the next time you're in the market for a new or used vehicle, come see us right here in Alva, located at 401 East Oklahoma Boulevard. Anger, anxiety, worry, and disbelief. These are normal emotions to feel with an unplanned pregnancy. You have options, and you are not alone. Hope Pregnancy Center in Alva is a safe, confidential, and compassionate place to land. Hope offers free pregnancy testing and ultrasound, and you will be provided education for all your options. Remember, you aren't alone. We can help with hope. Visit thinkunpregnant.org. That's thinkunpregnant.org. To prevent medication from getting into the wrong hands, it is crucial to store it out of sight and out of the reach of children and visitors. In addition, it is important to dispose of unwanted, expired, and unused medications in a safe manner. For more information, visit okimready.org. That's okimready.org or call 988 Oklahoma's Mental Health Lifeline. This program is funded by Northwestern Oklahoma State University, Oklahoma Department of Mental Health and Substance Abuse Prevention Services and Substance Abuse Mental Health Services Administration. When was the last time you evaluated your investment goals? With our ever-changing environment, it's time. Talk to us about locking in a high, long-term fixed interest rate and put your money to work for you. I'm Whitney Gum, and here at ENJ Financial, we work with you to implement a custom plan to fit your financial goals. Call our office today at 580-327-2552 to book a complimentary financial review. Securities offered through registered representatives of Cambridge Investment Research, member FINRA, SIPC. Advisory services offered through Cambridge Investment Research Advisors, Cambridge and E&J Financial are not affiliated. 1-1 one, one count to the hitter Hagen Barcel, leading things off at the bottom of the fifth inning. A pitch swung on a miss there as he chased one up and out of the zone. Count moves to 1-2. and two. Marcella one for two today with two RBIs. Had the two RBI double back in the first, grounded out to short in the second. It'll be Barcelo, Perkins, and Sayer. 1-2 pitch. Foul back to the net. We'll do it again at one and two. That would have been right back in, in the box again. Rangers again leading at five to two on the Community Bank scoreboard. 
Scoreless the last two innings, though. That one just missed inside and off the plate. Count evens up 2-2 now. Mayhew, Mayhew, the lefty again, back out here. Which will be his third inning of work. He's mixing locations pretty good. 2-2 two -two pitch. This one fouled right to the Northwestern dugout. Nice left-handed snag by Trevor Sayer. Yep. Uh, Keith Ware, come down, check out his hand. Yeah. <laughs> 2-2 two -two pitch. Fly ball lifted into left, but... As Cabrera looks like he's got his eye on it. Camps underneath it, makes the grab for out number one. F7. So now to the plate, Theron Perkins, who had an RBI double back in the first. Flew out to center in the third. Looks like we've got a little bit of a shoe tying action here for the catcher for the Aggies, Bonner. Takes about half as long to put on catcher's equipment as it does the goalkeeper in hockey and lose it. <laughs> First pitch to Perkins. Cross there for a strike. Count is 0-1. Last time the Rangers had a base hit. You have to go back to the first, or excuse me, the second inning. It was Paul Sachin with a single. They've had a couple of walks and they reached on an error, but other than that, Mayhew and has done a pretty good job as he's now ahead of Perkins 0-2. Yeah. Ideally, we're, we're hitting the ball every inning, and uh, some are going to fall in, some aren't. 0-2 to Perkins. Bounces in front of the plate. Count moves to 1-2. and two. Again, it's doubleheader action today on Classic Hits. Right after this, we'll have Alva Goldbug action. Baseball taking place later on. That pitch missed there. Count evens up two and two. Doesn't really want to go full. No pitcher does, so look for one here. 2-2 two -two pitch. Perkins fouls it off, gets a piece. A little line drive action here. And the 2-2. Two -two. Fouled back over the press box. We'll do it again at 2-2. Two two. Umpire getting resupplied with balls. Gotta thank them for being an umpire. Yet don't do it for the money. Swung on and missed for strike three there. And there's two down. Second strikeout now for Mayhew. Looks like he took something off of that when speed just kind of got him. Mayhew again has thrown 32 pitches. Just the one walk and two strikeouts. <clears throat> Out of the plate, Trevor Sayer is, swings at that one and misses for strike one. Zero for two today. Flew out to right in the first, popped out to first in foul territory in the third. No one pitch is inside. Count evens up 1 1 to Trevor Sayer. Back to what I said last inning. Every inning, get at least one guy on bag on the base. Here's the 1 1. That's hit into shallow left center, but retreating back will be the shortstop, Arietta, who makes the grab. And the Rangers go in order in the bottom of the fifth. No runs, no hits, no errors, nobody left on. To the sixth we go. Northwestern leading OPSU 5-2 to two on the Community Bank School Board. This is Northwestern Baseball, brought to you by Holder Drug on the Rangers Sports Network. KNS Tire and Alva has been locally owned and operated since 2004. While every business claims to be the best, KNS Tire is the best. Our satisfied customers speak for themselves by coming back to us each and every time. 
Our amazing services goes beyond a regular tune-up or tire rotation. Our team is well-trained and able to take care of all your car care needs, including preventative maintenance, wheel alignments, brakes, and more. Visit knstire.com for more information or come see us at 2590 Collins Boulevard right here in Alva. The Tacoma Farmers Co-op is a proud supporter of Ranger and Goldbug activities since 1916. They have been here to serve you with all your farming and ranching needs with a wide range of goods and services from fuel, hardware, fencing, tires, feed and seed, plus fertilizer. They're here to meet your needs. Choose to trade with a co-op that gives its profits back to you. To learn about the Tacoma Co-op Advantage, stop by one of five locations in Moreland, Freedom, Winoka, Jet, and Tacoma, or visit them at TacomaCoop.com and get a better service at a better place. Naloxone is a medication designed to rapidly reverse opioid overdose. A person who is experiencing an overdose can't administer naloxone to themselves. Anyone can carry naloxone, give it to someone experiencing an overdose, and potentially save a life. That's why everyone should consider having naloxone. For more information, visit okiamready.org. That's okiamready.org. This program is funded by Northwestern Oklahoma State University, Oklahoma Department of Mental Health and Substance Abuse Prevention Services, and Substance Abuse Mental Health Services Administration. 818 Diner has consistently provided the city of Alba with quality comfort food and great service since opening in 2019. Join us for breakfast, lunch, or dinner. Some of our popular menu items to choose from include the BCB Burger, the French Dip, and our staples such as Terry's Chicken Fried Steak, Don's Hamburger Steak, and Joe's Chicken Tenders. Open Monday and Wednesday through Sunday from 6 a.m. to 2 p.m. and open for dinner Wednesday through Friday, 5 p.m. to 8 p.m. So if you want a variety of menu items and friendly service to give you that local diner feeling, visit 818 Diner right here in Alba. Rangers again will go to the bullpen to open up here in the sixth inning. New pitcher on for the Rangers will be the 5'8 right-handed junior out of Lawton, Oklahoma, transfer out of NOC Talk, law number 38, Malik Wilson. This will be the first appearance of the year for Malik Wilson. As Wilson ready to go, John Cabrera will lead it off as we open up play here in the sixth. Wilson delivers in there for a called strike. Count is 0-1. Again, Rangers leading at 5-2. Rangers again scoreless their last three. Here's the 0-1. Throw it outside for ball one. Count evens up 1-1 to Cabrera. Cabrera has reached twice today. Was hit by a pitch back in the second. They also walked in the third. Here's the 1-1. Outside again for ball two. Two one pitch across the plate. County evens up two two. Leek Wilson again previously played at NOC, district champion two times in high school, all conference in high school. Also played basketball. Favorite player Marcus Stroman. That pitch lifted into right center on the run as Trevor Sarah it could be trouble. It's not as he makes the grab near the warning track for the first out of the inning. Wow, I wasn't sure where that was going to wind up, but I shouldn't have been surprised. It was in Sarah's glove. So now to the plate, Bill Bonner, the catcher. Pre-game ritual or superstition for Wilson. Breathing techniques. Yeah. Favorite superhero, Spider-Man. I'm a big Spider-Man guy as well. For the next Spider Man movie to come out soon, hopefully. That pitch misses outside to Bonner for ball one. The breeze, you can tell, picking up now a little bit. Bonner 0 for 2 today. Flew out to left in the second, struck out in the third as Wilson delivers the 1 0. Caught the outside corner. Can't even up 1 1. I'm not sure that caught the black, but we'll take it. I mean, he spotted it where the you know, catcher set up. Favorite TV show, SpongeBob. <laughs> <laughs> 1-1 pitch, swung on and miss for strike two. As we told you, the first appearance of the year by Malik Wilson. Oh, 
One two pitch. Popped up. We'll get back out of play over the press box. We'll do it again at one and two. President's honor roll, Dean's lift. It's a pretty uh, pretty sharp guy. One two from Wilson. That's it into center. Trevor Sarah is there. Comes up, makes a grab, and there's two down. Well, he's doing what uh, my buddy did that I played baseball with, Rich Feeler, back in St. Louis before it was even really popular. He's pursuing a nursing degree. And Rich had an amazing career in nursing, in advanced nursing in, in St. Louis. And we're at the bottom of the order. It's Aiden Davis, a little check swing, hit right back to Wilson, who fields, throws to first. And how about that, Malik Wilson? Well done. It's the Aggies to go one, two, three in the six. No runs, no hits, no errors. Nobody left on. Bottom of the six we go. Rangers lead it five to two in the Community Bank School Board. This is Northwestern Baseball brought to you by Holder Drug on the Rangers Sports Network. Dean Gall Real Estate and Auction has been serving clients in Oklahoma and Kansas for nearly 37 years. If you're looking to buy, sell, or invest, we are your real estate professionals. We will get you the top dollar for your property, whether it be at auction or private sale. Get with Dean Gall Real Estate and Auction if you're wanting to buy a ranch, good farmland, sell or lease minerals, or buy a home. Visit our website at deangallauction.com to browse available listings. Talk to Dean, Steve, or Todd at 580 580- 327-8217 or stop by the office in Alva where you're always greeted with a smile. Come and see us. Looking for the best in lawn care? Peak Environment has you covered. We offer a wide range of services including full service mowing, weed control, Christmas light installation, and more. Peak Environment provides efficient and affordable services across Northwest Oklahoma with branches in Alva, Enid, and Woodward. Call our office today at 580-748-8003 for a free quote on any service. That's Peak Environment, 748-8003. Proud supporter of all Ranger and Goldbug Athletics. The Alva Moose Lodge is a proud supporter of all Northwestern and Alva public school activities and strives to be the heart of the community through fundraisers and community-based events that make a difference in the lives of individuals, kids, and families throughout Northwest Oklahoma. On a national basis, the Moose Fraternity provides at-risk children with a second chance at life and its senior members a comforting retirement at its five-star senior facility in Florida. If you would like to see how you can help make a difference in the lives of those in need, stop by the Alva Moose Lodge Monday through Saturday from 4 p.m to 10 30 p.m. at 302 7th Street to learn more. Third baseman Colby Grace will lead things off as the first pitch catches the inside corner for a called strike here in the bottom of the sixth inning. <laughs> Thought that looked kind of low for me. Here's the 0-1 from Mayhew. Ground ball hit foul down the third baseline. Count is 0-2. Once again, the Rangers looking for their first base hit since the second inning. And the only base runners have been a walk issued by Mayhew along with uh, Bradford reaching out an error. Rangers with five runs on five hits. Aggies with two runs, six hits, and an error committed as that one misses low. Only today is 0 for 1 at the plate. Flew out to center in the first, walked in the third. You know, we jumped early, but you, you want to take some pressure off the pitchers. We've kind of gone flat since. One two pitch. That's crushed into the gap in left center down for a base hit. Grace is going to round first. Is he headed for second? He's not. He'll retreat back. But it's a leadoff single for the Rangers in their first hit since the second inning. First hit of the day by Colby Grace. Let's see if that gets the Rangers. Bats woke up here. And they have not put up any runs since that second inning. Scoreless in the third, the fourth, and in the fifth. And lead off on. The pledge is to get him home before the inning's out. Batal bunts it right back to Mayhew. He'll turn and just can't take the out at first. There's one down. But a good job by Vital to move the runner into scoring position. So sack bunt from Vital allows Grace to take second as Jacob Wiltshire, the shortstop, will hit. Wiltshire walked and scored a run in the second. And 
flew out to short in the fourth. First pitch to Wiltshire, misses low and into the turf for ball one. He's got a lot of room on the right side of the infield, second baseman holding him on, so if he can get that outside pitch, just go with it. Is a thought, anyway. Mayhew checks the runner. Here's the 1-0. Upstairs for ball two. They're changing, uh, covering assignments based upon what the pitch is going to be. 2-0 pitch. That's going to be a fly ball into center on the run. Making the grab was Davis. There's the throw back in. There's two down. That was well hit. Just it was. too close to the center fielder. Some of those look like base hits right off the bat, too. Yeah. yeah. So now to the plate, we go back to the top of the order with the first baseman, Dylan Bradford. <clears throat> Bradford trying to pick up his first RBI of the day. He is one for three at the plate. Last time up, reached down an air and stole a base. He's got two stolen bases today. Been successful nine out of ten attempts this season. Yehu checks the runner, now comes home. Blow it off the plate for ball one. Runner will hold it second. No signs being given. It's just a matter of put it in play, get on, just try to score this guy from second. Bradford fouls this one out of play at the parking lot to the left. Count evens up 1-1. Almost went into our concession stand. Yeah. You ever watch those food truck competitions? I do not, huh? I love good food <laughs> truck, though. That pitch misses outside, two and one. I torture myself sometimes watching the Food Network with all the good food and the variety. But they have food truck, truck competitions, and uh, there's some, some good eating. That one almost got away from the catcher. Bonner finally found it. Both catchers have had uh, had a game of fielding a lot of them off their chest, their legs, their feet. A lot of low ball pitching today. 3-1 <clears throat> pitch upcoming. That one fouled back out of play. He'd like that one back, Bradford. Count goes full to Bradford at 3-2. and two. Close, you gotta be cutting. Fly ball lifted down the left field line. Aggies will give chase, but it lands in foul territory. Three balls, two strikes, two down here in the bottom of the sixth inning. Let's bring him home. Bring him home here, Dylan. 3-2 from Mayhew. This is for ball four. Good eye. Runners now at first and second with two down here in the bottom of the sixth. <clears throat> Looks like we're going to see a visit to the mound. We'll take a timeout for the mound visit. Again, two down here in the bottom of the sixth inning. Again, Rangers leading at 5-2 to two in the Community Bank School Board as the Aggies are going to go to the bullpen, it looks like. Let's call the bullpen. Brought to you by Ignite Physical Therapy. This is Northwestern Baseball. Brought to you by Holder Drug on the Rangers Sports Network. 
Keeping your car clean is an inexpensive way to protect its value. Shirley Shine Car Wash, located west of Love, offers a six-bay self-serve car wash, including three truck bays. Your wash options include soap, tire cleaner, foamy brush, wax, spot-free rinse, and air chamois. And you can pay with credit, debit card, or quarter. Don't just clean the outside, clean the inside with its self-serve car vacuum. You can also clean your pet with their self-serve dog walk. Company vehicle? Be sure to ask about our fleet account. So the next time your vehicle needs rinse or detailed, come by Shirley Shine Car Wash, located right here in Alva. At Ignite Physical Therapy, we assist in the therapy of many different aspects, such as advanced problem solving, joint mobilization, treatment of adverse neural tension, evaluation and treatment of muscle imbalance, tissue-specific exercise, and patient education. Dr. Jared Hayda and staff want to get you back to the life that you had before your injury. They have helped so many through rehabilitation, and they can do the same for you. Stop by and see the staff at Ignite Physical Therapy on 520 Flynn Street or make an appointment by calling 580-327-3331. We know how much love your pet gives you. We're Ridgeview Veterinary Hospital. We're always here for you and your pet. Ridgeview Vet Hospital provides the most comprehensive care from regular checkups to emergency. Ridgeview Vet Hospital proudly provides veterinary services to all animals, large or small. Visit us today to let Dr. Lohman and his staff take care of your extended family located right here in Alva, or call us to schedule your appointment at 580-327-0201. Ridgeview Vet Hospital is a proud supporter of Alva and Northwestern activities. Welcome back out of our break. New pitcher on for the Aggies will be Isai Torres, the sophomore out of Lubbock, Texas. Let's get you the numbers on Torres. As Torres' first pitch misses outside for ball one. Torres again will pitch to the DH for the Rangers, Carson Wright. Torres with a nine ERA. He is 1-0. Oh. It's his sixth appearance. He's gone 13 innings, 18 hits, 15 runs, 13 of those runs. Six walks, nine strikeouts. Teams are hitting 321 against Torres this season. As the 1-0. Oh. It's a fly ball lifted down the left field line, and Cabrera's got a beat on it now. Had to make a little bit of a run to his left, but he'll make the grab for the final out. And the Rangers turned away here in the sixth inning. So we will head to the top of the seventh. Rangers come up with no runs on one hit, no errors with two left on. Bot or top of the seventh we go. Rangers lead it 5-2, the Community Bank School Board. This is Northwestern Baseball brought to you by Holder Drug on the Rangers Sports Network. Your agency of choice for all types of insurance is McDermott Insurance in Alva. For home, auto, farm, or business insurance, the McDermott Agency will protect what you value most by providing the best coverage and client service possible. To get your custom professional insurance review, call McDermott Insurance at 580-327-3500 or visit them at 526 Flynn Street in Alva. McDermott Insurance. They can't predict the future, but they can insure it. Alva Health and Wellness is Alva's newest healthcare option, offering a broad array of services geared to address today's most common illnesses and injuries. Alva Health and Wellness offers services for you and your child, including sickness, wellness, chronic care management, vaccinations, weight loss, and so much more. Find more information online by visiting alvahealthandwellness.com or come by and make an appointment with Jeremy Logston in person at 515 College Avenue right here in Alva. This month's sale is happening right now at G&G &G Home Furnishings in Alva. It's our annual President's Day sale happening through the month of February. Items on sale is everything from furniture to appliances to home or business decor from all of your favorite brands. You can also browse through our selection of mattresses that are on sale as well. So don't miss out on all the savings during the annual President's Day sale happening at G&G &G Home Furnishings located at 2107 College Boulevard right here in Alva. Welcome back. Was Rangers go to the bullpen? Let's call the bullpen brought to you by Ignite Physical Therapy. New pitcher on for the Rangers will be the six foot four left handed junior out of Latana, Texas, transfer out of Dodge City Community College. Number 47, Kyle Gescheidel, enters today with a 6.75 earn run average. He's one and one as he makes his eighth appearance. Scheidel's gone four innings, three hits, three runs, all those earned. Three walks to go along with four strikeouts. Teams are hitting just 214 against Gescheidel this season. In other games in action, 
around the Great American Conference. Southern Nazarene leading East Central in Ada today, 7-1. Oklahoma Baptist leading Cameron in softball, 3-1 in Shawnee. Wachita Baptist leading Union in Arkadelphia, 1-0 in the fifth. So Gashado will come out. He'll face Ryota Kuzumoto. Kuzumoto's one for three today. Had that solo home run last time up. He got the Aggies back to within three. Again, it's five to two as we enter the seventh. Yeah, that was a no-joke home run, too. First pitch from Gashido misses outside and off the plate for ball one. Kuzumoto, Arietta, Debar, Tolome, Tarlameo, again, due up. For the rain or for the Aggies here in the seventh. Showing bunt. It's a good bunt down the first base line. And they're going to be able to did they tag him out? They did. Nice play there from Bradford. That was a pretty good bunt bunt tip that time from Kuzumoto and nearly able to come up with an infield single. Yeah, that was a textbook drag bunt. And uh, that was bang bang. Jose Arietta now the hitter. He's two for three today. Singled in the first, singled and scored a run in the third. Struck out looking in the fourth as Gescheidel delivers across the plate for a called strike. And it's five to two Rangers. The last run put up was that home run from Kuzumoto back in the top of the fourth for the Aggies. Here's the 0 1 pitch. From Gashado, that swung on and missed. Boy, the bottom dropped out of that one. Certainly did. And Arietta quickly behind on the count, 0 2 now. Gashado ready to go with the 0 2. And the delivery. High chopper hit down the third base line, but just foul. Do it again at 0 2. Kyle Gashadal again, former swimmer in high school. That'd be a pretty good athlete to probably do that and baseball. Yeah, you do. 0 2 pitch lifted down the right field line will land foul off the wall. <laughs> it's a good thing that was foul. <laughs> yeah, at least a double. Well, a lot of times, swimmers and uh, had some friends that were competitive swimmers. He, and I have some big shoulders. You remember Phelps in the Olympics and then Spitz way before your time, Mark Spitz, but 72 Olympics, I think. Shadow's favorite team, of course, the Cubs. He's already my favorite pitcher on the staff. <laughs> <laughs> no. I was going to say, what do you mean, of course? 0-2 yeah. pitch upcoming. That one misses outside. Count moves to 1-2 and two now. I'm not Lala, like uh, many St. Louis fans. I always pull for the Cubs, even though they they <laughs> favorite band Van Halen, another good one there. Yeah, <laughs> assistant athletic director. Oh, one two pitch, swung on and missed for strike three, and there's two down. Of course, the one superstition is not stepping on the foul line. You see that with a lot of baseball players. Yeah, and then what is the. We'd asked about former, current, or college or professional athletes in relation to Kyle Abbott, a pitching coach. Kyle Abbott was the one that had, um, I think, the deformed or, or right hand. And he was a major league baseball pitcher, left-handed. And <clears throat> if memory serves, he switched gloves if he had to field the ball. Oh, is, it, is that who you said or not? No. Okay. Different guy. Kyle Abbott. Yeah. Oh, okay. Pitching. But, yes, I do remember. Yeah, Jim Abbott. Jim Abbott. Yeah. Oh, that's it. Could be some relation. <laughs> Good pitch. 1-0's in there for a called strike. Count evens up 1-1. Pibar Tolomeo is 0 for 2 today. Walked last time up. Shadow trying to go one, two, three here. 
just missed outside there. Looked like a pretty good pitch, but. He made the president's list. So he's a good student, biology major. If you're not a good student, you're not going to get through biology. It's typically the gateway to pre-med studies. That pitch misses as well as it got away momentarily from Vital. Count goes to three and one. And I think that's probably Vidal's number 15 is probably the amount that he's taken off his chest and legs today. Three balls, one strike. Again to the hitter, Jeremy Bartolomeo. Three one from Gescheidel. Outside for ball four, and it's a two out walk. Well, let's see where. He kind of likes one of your favorite places to eat, too. Yeah, big Chipotle guy. Yeah, we don't have one of those here. No, but I will be having it this weekend when I go to the city. You will. Okay. Yeah. It's about uh, less than five minutes from my mom's house. That's, that's just kind of one of those. Standard stops. Yeah. Oh, yeah. David Garcia now will bat. He's two for three today with an RBI. That pitch misses outside for ball one. Believe it or not, I've never, well, no. Probably not surprised to you, but I, I've never eaten at one before. It's good stuff. Just don't get out of town a lot much lately. Scheidel checks the runner. Here's the 1 0. Low for ball two. And this is a big spot here for the Rangers. Got that 5 to 2 lead, but. Yeah. Haven't been able to go get anything going offensively since those five runs in the first and the second. We need to get this batter. Two-zero pitch, swung on and missed for strike one. Here's the 2 1 from Gescheidel. Swung on and missed again. Count evens up 2 and 2 as Gescheidel's battle back to even up the count. Yeah, I'm not sure if the hitter's not seeing it or, or what, but two fastballs is just not really being close. It's had good swings, but if you're close, you're getting a piece of it. That pitch misses upstairs. Count goes full 3 and 2. Bradford's moved back to the fringe nearly, kind of conceding the, the run here because he is going to be running. Up and in for ball four, it looks like. Runners now at first and second. So back-to-back -back walks issued by Gescheidel. And the Aggies will bring the tying run to the plate. It'll be Tucker Bond. Bond is 0 for 3 today. Flew out three times. Twice to left and once to center. That first pitch to Bond is in there for a called strike. Count is 0 and 1. No balls, one strike. Scheidel checks the runner a couple of times. Now comes home with the 0-1. That swung on and missed. On quickly behind in the count, 0 and 2 now. Well, he really fooled on that pitch. That happens to every hitter in baseball now and then. No balls, two strikes, and delivery. Bond with a fly ball into right. That should do it as Sachin will make the grab for the final out. And the Rangers get out of it as the Aggies threaten a little bit here with two down. No runs on no hits, no errors with two left on. As it's time for our seventh inning stretch brought to you by Ignite, or excuse me, brought to you by Peak Environment. As again, we'll come back to 
Last family field for the bottom of the seventh after this here on Classic Hits 105.7. Alva State Bank and Trust Company, older than Oklahoma, big enough to serve you and small enough to know you. We love to give back to our customers. Did you know Alva State Bank offers a great rewards checking account program? That's right. You can earn cash back or high interest with our Casasa accounts. We will even refund you up to $25 in ATM fees. How do I qualify? It's simple. Just swipe your debit card 12 times, sign up for online statements, and have one ACH credit or debit post to your account. Can I do it online? Yes. Just visit our website at www.alvastatebank.com to see if our Casasa Rewards program is right for you. We make banking easy. Whether you're at home, the office, or in your car, our online or mobile banking options help you juggle busy schedules and financial needs. We plant roots where others have branches. Equal Housing Lender, member FDIC. Now first pitch to Paul Sachin was... He's swinging as it's a fly ball into center that was caught by Davis. Now to the plate will be the second baseman of our 10, Hagen Barcelo. One out here at the bottom of the seventh. In our seventh inning stretch brought to you by Peak Environment. Rangers on top, 5-2. to two. Here's the 1-0. Ground ball hit right back the pitcher. Nice snag that time from Torres. He'll throw to first, and it's 1-3 put out of Barcelo. And just like that, there's two down on three pitches. Yeah. I believe that's what we call efficient. Yeah. Yeah. It's time to Perkins to get on base here. Perkins again doubled, had the RBI double back in the first, flew out to left in the third, and struck out in the fifth. As Torres misses low and away there for ball one. Aggies have left nine runners on. Northwestern have left six so far to this point. Rangers do have two doubles. Neither team has any triples. That pitch is fouled back. Aggies have hit the one solo home run. Aggies have walked five times. Rangers have walked four. Here's the 1-1 pitch up coming from Torres. In there for a called strike and Perkins quickly behind in the count, one and two now. And here's the one, two. Swung on a miss for strike three, and that'll do it as the Rangers go in order here in the bottom of the seventh. No runs, no hits, no errors, nobody left on. Top of the eighth we go. Rangers lead it five to two in the Community Bank School Board. This is Northwestern Baseball brought to you by Holder Drug on the Rangers Sports Network. Spring is right around the corner and Holder Drug wants to remind you of our new information for the month of March. Right now, we have many bridal and baby registries, and if you would like to register with us, come see us in person. New items from Market have arrived just in time for spring break shopping. Check out these items in store or on our VIP Facebook page. As always, free delivery on your medications and prescriptions, plus free gift wrapping for your bridal shower. This all happens at Holder Drug, located on the downtown square right here in Alba. Community Bank has been serving Alva, Oklahoma and the surrounding area since 1984. Community Bank was founded by local community members who wanted to ensure the banking needs of the community were being met. It has been our goal since inception to provide customer-focused services and community development. Our customers are friends, neighbors, and never just a number. We believe in investing in our community, and we pride ourselves in being your hometown bank. Community Bank, equal housing lender, member FDIC. 
Do you need assistance taking care of yourself or a loved one? Beatles Nursing Home in Alva is here for you. We offer safe, high-quality, affordable nursing care while meeting all care guidelines for living. Call us at 580-327-1274 to learn more about our admissions process to place your loved one in our care. When it's time to choose a nursing home facility, we'll hope you'll consider Beatles Nursing Home located at 916 Noble Street in Alva. Rangers are going to the bullpen here to start things in the eighth. Again, it's brought to you by Ignite Physical Therapy. New pitcher on for the Rangers, the six foot one junior right hander out of Glenpool, Oklahoma, transfer out of Dodge City Community College, number 13, Justin Dunlap. Dunlap with a 21.6 earned run average. He's fifth appearance of the year. He's gone three and a third, eight hits, 12 runs, eight of those earned. Five walks, five strikeouts. Teams are hitting 400 against Dunlap this season. As Bo Spadowski will lead things off for the Aggies as we open up play here in the top of the eighth inning. Rangers again leading it 5-2. to two. Again, the last run scored in this game was Kuzumoto's solo home run in the top of the fourth. First pitch swung on and missed for strike one. You know, typically you say that the pitchers have settled in, but we keep switching pitchers. Right. <laughs> so we 0-1 is right across for, for another strike. Count is 0-2. It'll be Spidowski, followed by Cabrera and Bonner do up. The 0-2 swung on and missed for strike three on three straight pitches, and there's one down. Three heaters in a row. So John Cabrera to the plate. Was hit by a pitch in the second, walked in the third. Flew out to center in the sixth. First pitch to Cabrera. In there again for another strike. Oh, one pitch fouled back to the net. Count is 0 and 2. Can we announce that? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, it's yeah. been. Okay. Since it's been officially put out, we'll talk about that after this at bat right here. 0-2 pitch. Up and in for ball one. One two pitch. Swung on and missed for strike three. Back to back strikeouts for Dunlap. There's two down. Yeah, batter swung under it. He went up a little bit on his fastball and just he's uh, having a good inning, isn't he? He is. Bill Bonner out of the plate. Again, the one thing we were looking at social media, it's been put out that Faith Simpson receiving first team uh, division two All American. Basketball. Yeah. Yeah. Pretty impressive season that she had. Of course, Great American Conference Player of the Year. Yeah. I think region player of the year. Oh, you may call American first team. Uh, you're Studley. Yeah, Faith had an outstanding season, and I think it was posted on there. I think it was the first Northwestern athlete to get first team All-American as well. It's yeah. going Division Two. Mm -hmm. O oh, one pitch. Popped up. We'll get out of play. Count will be 0-2 oh, now. Both teams had good seasons. Wish we would have carried it further, but something to build on for sure. Yeah, well, GAC represented themselves well. We did too. O2 pitch upstairs for ball one. And did you already talk about it, Langston tonight? I've not. Sooner Athletic Conference team, Langston playing for a national championship tonight in Kansas City. You say that was a set, eight o'clock, seven o'clock tip time. Seven o'clock tip time. Swung on and missed for strike three, and Justin Dunlap with strikes out the side here in the eighth. No runs, no hits, no errors, nobody left on. Bottom of the eighth we go. Rangers lead it 5-2 to two in the Community Bank scoreboard. This is Northwestern Baseball, brought to you by Holder Drug on the Rangers Sports Network. Here at Bank Central, we like to shoot for three, and that includes our services to you. 
from fee-free checking accounts to competitive CD rates and all the way to consumer lending. Stop by any of our locations in Alva, Enid, Woodward, and Cherokee, or call 580-327-1122 to talk with one of our qualified professionals. Bank Central, where we're centered on you. Member FDIC, Equal Housing Lender. Certain fees and restrictions may apply. You put in the work, and every day you go out and prove it again. You're an expert in your field. That's what farmers do every day. They go out and get the job done. If that's you, then Farm Credit of Western Oklahoma wants to thank you. For a livestock or crop loan, equipment loan, ag real estate, or operating loan, we will tailor a loan to your needs. Talk to one of our ag specialists by phone or stop by a branch today. Farm Credit of Western Oklahoma and Equal Housing Opportunity Lender, online at farmcreditloans.com. Get no better deal in the country than at Croft Country, located in Alva, Oklahoma. Croft Country is the dealer for vehicles in Northwest Oklahoma. Croft Country is locally owned and operated since 1985, offering a full line of award-winning brands, including Chevy and GMC. From the time you enter our showroom for sales or service, you can expect to be treated like family. So the next time you're in the market for a new or used vehicle, come see us right here in Alva, located at 401 East Oklahoma Boulevard. Heading to the bottom of the eighth, Rangers leading at 5-2. to two. As we welcome you back to Glass Family Field at Meyer Stadium, Dustin Goto alongside Steve Barrows, your Ranger baseball crew. Here this afternoon and, of course, all season long, leading things off for Northwestern will be the center fielder, Trevor Sayer. Uh, on home soil, isn't uh, Major League Baseball kicking off this weekend? I think you're right, yeah. yeah. My voice kind of just cracked there and tailed off at the end. <laughs> Get emotional sometimes. Yeah, I do. Yeah. <laughs> Especially last broadcast. <laughs> First pitch to Sarah from Torres. Misses up and away for ball one. Zero for three at the plate today. Find a way to get on. Here's the 1 0. Missing almost in the same spot. Count is 2 0 now. Trevor Sayre, Colby Gray, Zach Vital do up for Northwestern. 2-0 pitch. Fly ball lifted into right. This should be the first out as Spadowski will head towards the line, make the grab of the run for the first down. There's one down. And we're talking about Langston. Yeah, again, playing Freed Hardeman tonight for the national championship game. They've only lost one game all season long. And they're a member of the Sooner Athletic, aren't they? That's right. Yep. Again, I watched it last night. I knocked off College of Idaho. Trailed at one point in the second half by seven, eight points. Come all the way back and won it. They have inside game, outside game. Well, about every, Pretty well. everything, yeah. Well-rounded, yeah. And Chris Wright, their head coach, has done a heck of a job. His second year, I think he's 66-4. and four. That's not bad. That's, yeah. <laughs> Here's the 1-0 pitch. Swung on and missed. Count evens up 1-1. Why is that name familiar, though? I mean... Or am I just he came from it? Talladega College. He actually took them to the national championship game, and then Langston was one in twenty-seven before he took over. And then just tells you the job that he's done. That quick of a turnaround! Wow. And they'll play for the national championship tonight. I think it's on ESPN Plus. Yeah, good luck to Langston. Two-one pitch fouled back to the net. County bids up two and two. Looks like they've had pretty good crowds there in Kansas City. Municipal Auditorium for most of the games they played. The JUCO National Tournament's only a couple hours away being played in Hutch. That's right. And, yeah. 2-2 two -two pitch. And a low end of the turf. Count goes full 3-2. and two. I believe Cody's probably living up there, isn't he? I'm sure. Three balls, two strikes to Colby Grace. Torres delivers a called strike. I think Grace thought that was a little high, but strike three. Yep. Again, if it's close. So now to the plate, the catcher, number 15, Zach Vital. Torres delivers. One bounces in in front of the plate. Count is 1-0. Oh. 
It's all 0 for 2 today. Running out to short in the second, reached on a fielder's choice in the third, and had the sack bunt in the sixth after that Colby Gray single. That's been the lone hit for the Rangers since the second inning. 1-0 pitch is a breaking ball for a called strike. Count evens up, 1-1. That had a nice soft, or no, a sharp break, not a soft break, a sharp break to it. 1-1. One, one. Fouled back, out of play over the press box to Vital. Count moves to 1-2 and two now. A little baseball trivia, but I, <clears throat> I, I forgot the answer. MLB, when they mud up the balls before the game, the umpires, you know where that mud comes from? I do not. Okay. Looks like I said I forgot it was. <laughs> Line drive go. back up the middle for a base hit. And Vital has his first hit of the day, a two-out single here in the bottom of the eighth. <laughs> Anybody out there listening or watching and knows where the MLB gets their mud from, you might forward that answer somehow to Dustin or myself. Our sports information director, Andrew Santangelo. <clears throat> Out of the plate, Jacob Wiltshire, the shortstop. Over two today, did walk and score a run in the second. Is the first pitch delivered for a cold strike. You know, early in the year, we were pretty dangerous with two outs. Last year, we had a lot of two-out success, too. Let's see if we can get some of that this inning. 0-1 pitch is hit into right. And on the run, making the grab is Spidowski. That'll do it for the Rangers here in the eighth. We will head to the ninth. Northwestern leading at 5-2. to two. There was no runs on one hit, no errors with one left on. Top of the ninth we go. Rangers lead at 5-2 on the Community Bank School Board. This is Northwestern Baseball brought to you by Holder Drug on the Rangers Sports Network. Anger, anxiety, worry, and disbelief. These are normal emotions to feel with an unplanned pregnancy. You have options, and you are not alone. Hope Pregnancy Center in Alva is a safe, confidential, and compassionate place to land. Hope offers free pregnancy testing and ultrasound, and you will be provided education for all your options. Remember, you aren't alone. We can help with hope. Visit thinkunpregnant.org. That's thinkunpregnant.org. To prevent medication from getting into the wrong hands, it is crucial to store it out of sight and out of the reach of children and visitors. In addition, it is important to dispose of unwanted, expired, and unused medications in a safe manner. For more information, visit OKIMready.org. That's OKIMREADY.org or call 988 Oklahoma's Mental Health Lifeline. This program is funded by Northwestern Oklahoma State University, Oklahoma Department of Mental Health and Substance Abuse Prevention Services, and Substance Abuse Mental Health Services Administration. When was the last time you evaluated your investment goals? With our ever-changing environment, it's time. Talk to us about locking in a high, long-term fixed interest rate and put your money to work for you. I'm Whitney Gum, and here at ENJ Financial, we work with you to implement a custom plan to fit your financial goals. Call our office today at 580-327-2552 to book a complimentary financial review. Securities offered through registered representatives of Cambridge Investment Research, member FINRA, SIPC. Advisory services offered through Cambridge Investment Research Advisors, Cambridge and E&J Financial are not affiliated. Now, well, final call of the bullpen, we believe, for the Rangers is new pitcher coming out. Again, that brought to you by, this brought to you by Ignite Physical Therapy. On for the Rangers, try and close it down to six foot four right-handed junior out of Pleasanton, Texas, number 17, Schaefer Glasscock. With a 4.5 run, earn run average, he's 0-1 as his eighth appearance. 12 innings, 10 hits, 6 runs, all those earned. 8 walks, 13 strikeouts. Teams are hitting 217 against Schaefer Glasscock this season. His first batter he'll pitch to here in the top half of the ninth to be the center fielder, number 3, Aiden Davis, who swings and misses for strike one. Nice pitch. Looked like a slider to start him out. And we talk about the Rangers coming up with a whole lot of hits. Just the last hit for the Aggies came back in the fifth. It was a single by Garcia. As the count is quickly 0-2 now. Same pitch. Pretty much same location. Thinking it's a fastball, and then it goes away from you. 0-2 is fouled off. Count will stay 0-2. Davis 0 for 2 today. He did walk in his first at bat back in the second inning and then had a pair of ground outs back to the pitcher. Rangers do have Jacob Shaw up in the bullpen. Here's the 0-2. Ground ball hit to second. 
Marcella will field, throw to first, and the 4-3 put out. There's one down. Back to the top of the order we go with Ryota Kuzumoto. Okay, well, our uh, our man, Matty Stratton, said it's Mississippi Mud. There you go. And I'm thinking, I, I thought that was Mississippi Mud, too, but I was thinking, isn't that a song or a line in something? Yeah. Mississippi Mud, Mississippi Mud. <laughs> I can't remember what movie that's from. Count is 1-0. and oh. Upstairs. Count is 2-0 and oh now. To Kuzumoto. Count is 3-0 now to Kuzumoto. 3-0 pitch. In there for a called strike. Count is 3-1. Three one pitch. This one hit foul to the right side towards the OPSU dugout. Count goes full though now to Kuzumoto after he was up three zero. Maddie comes back with Mississippi Queen. No, yeah. that wasn't. That was the group by Mountain. The song by Mountain. That's one lifted into shallow left on the run, making the grab is Perkins for out number two. Yeah, there's a song Mississippi Mud. Mississippi. Anyway, I don't know what it was. But Mountain and Mississippi Queen, that, uh, I had a little fanfare with that one. I climbed the, uh, the drain pipe at Washington University in St. Louis to see Mountain as I went in the second floor bathroom. First pitch to Arietta misses low. Of course, you have the Mississippi mud pie. I've had that once. It's a long time ago. It's rich. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Count evens up 1-1 one, one to Arietta. He is two for four today. Has struck out twice, though. Singled in his first two at bats. 1-1 one, one is a line drive and hit in the air, and that one gets by Perkins as he come up and tried to make the play. Arietta's going to round first. He's headed for second. And standing at second is Arietta with two down. Yeah, he made a good attempt on it. And Got up and recovered it quickly to hold him at two. So a two-out double for Arietta, his third hit of the game. And now to the plate, Ibar Tolomeo. He's 0 for 2 today. Has walked twice, though. Walked in the third and walked in his last at bat in the seventh. Glasscock delivers. In there for a called strike. Count is 0-1. Of course, right after this, we'll close it out pretty quick and then get you out to Crenshaw Field for Alva Goldbug Baseball. 0-1 is in there for a called strike. It's 0-2. It can't be too particular here. I, I thought maybe that was a sweet pitch to turn on. Glasscock with the 0-2. And it's fouled out of play to the right side. We'll do it again at 0-2 as Bartolomeo stays alive. Again, runner on second is Jose Arrieta after that two-out double. Here's the 0-2. Chopped foul just getting a piece. That was at the <clears throat> absolute end of his bat. He got a piece of it. I don't know if he's going to rear back and try to throw one by him, if the hitter's going to set on it. I mean, you got to be defensive with two strikes. Game's right here. 0-2 pitch. Low it off the plate for ball one. Of course, David Garcia on deck. I don't want to really bring the tying run to the plate with Garcia either. He's hit it well today. One two pitch. There's a chopper to short. Will Char will charge, throw to first in time, and that'll do it. Yeah. As the Aggies threaten with a runner on second, but the Rangers hold them off here tonight to pick up the victory by a final score of five to two. They're 21st of the year. 
and 16th here at home. The Aggies with the loss dropped to 11 and 23. And again, they're now two and three away from Goodwill, Oklahoma. Five to two is your finals here in the ninth. The Aggies pick up no runs on one hit, no errors with one left on. We will take a timeout, wrap it up with our McDermott Insurance postgame show next. This is Northwestern Baseball brought to you by Holder Drug right here on the Ranger Sports Network. KNS Tire and Alva has been locally owned and operated since 2004. While every business claims to be the best, KNS Tire is the best. Our satisfied customers speak for themselves by coming back to us each and every time. Our amazing services go beyond a regular tune-up or tire rotation. Our team is well-trained and able to take care of all your car care needs, including preventative maintenance, wheel alignments, brakes, and more. Visit knstire.com for more information or come see us at 2590 College Boulevard right here in Alva. The Tacoma Farmers Co-op is a proud supporter of Ranger and Goldbug activities since 1916. They have been here to serve you with all your farming and ranching needs with a wide range of goods and services from fuel, hardware, fencing, tires, feed and seed, plus fertilizer. They're here to meet your needs. Choose to trade with a co-op that gives its profits back to you. To learn about the Tacoma Co-op Advantage, stop by one of five locations in Moreland, Freedom, Winoka, Jet, and Tacoma, or visit them at tacomacoop.com and get a better service at a better place. Naloxone is a medication designed to rapidly reverse opioid overdose. A person who is experiencing an overdose can't administer naloxone to themselves. Anyone can carry naloxone, give it to someone experiencing an overdose, and potentially save a life. That's why everyone should consider having naloxone. For more information, visit okimready.org. That's okimready.org. This program is funded by Northwestern Oklahoma State University, Oklahoma Department of Mental Health and Substance Abuse Prevention Services, and Substance Abuse Mental Health Services Administration. 818 Diner has consistently provided the city of Alba with quality comfort food and great service since opening in 2019. Join us for breakfast, lunch, or dinner. Some of our popular menu items to choose from include the BCB Burger, the French Dip, and our staples such as Terry's Chicken Fried Steak, Don's Hamburger Steak, and Joe's Chicken Tenders. Open Monday and Wednesday through Sunday from 6 a.m. to 2 p.m. and open for dinner Wednesday through Friday, 5 p.m. to 8 p.m. So if you want a variety of menu items and friendly service to give you that local diner feeling, visit 818 Diner right here in Alba. Welcome back here to Glass Family Field at Meyer Stadium as we open it up our McDermott Insurance postgame show. The Rangers are a winner today by a final score of 5-2, to two, scoring three runs in the first, two in the second, none the rest of the way. OPSU did put up one in the third and one in the fourth. Rangers finished with five runs, seven hits, no errors. The Aggies with two runs, seven hits, and one error this afternoon. As again, we go through your final statistics, brought to you by Shirley Shine Car Wash. Rangers sent 31 to the plate, five runs, seven hits, five RBIs. They walked four times, struck out five, and left seven runners on. The Aggies, 33 to the plate, two runs on seven hits, two RBIs, five walks. They struck out nine times, and the Aggies stranded ten runners today. Tamaki will take the loss. He moves to one and seven. Start of the game went two innings, five hits, five runs. All those earned. Two walks, one strikeout. Brown and Gorse will get the victory today for the Rangers. As the Rangers again used a pitcher pretty much all nine innings. A new pitcher every nine innings. All all the pitchers end up going just one inning here today for the Rangers. As Brown goes an inning, one hit, one strikeout, and four batters faced. Glasscock will pick up the save as he goes an inning, gives up one hit, and four batters faced as the Rangers again win it. Five to two. At times it was a pretty coach, but uh, you know what? Picked the victory here today and kind of salvaged that loss earlier to Panhandle State when you when you gave up twelve runs and you hold them to two today. Yeah. Well, again, I, the the best part about today is pitchers that got all that work. You know, the ones that we've got. Uh, but I think we were kind of even in hits apiece. Uh, what was our error? Was that the left field diving no, for it? Just OPS. You had the one error. Oh, okay. Yeah. It was just one error. Okay. So, again, we played good D, um, got the hits early, got the runs in early, and was able to hold on. And again, Rangers again win it uh, by a final score of 5-2. to two. They're now 24-6 and six against Oklahoma Panhandle State since 2007. Uh, and, again, as you know, we said last time, Coach, well, we wouldn't be back to April 5th. We expect not to be back to April 5th. Uh, I would imagine that we'll, we'll make that road trip to Southeastern this weekend. I can't imagine it gets moved out, but you never know, I guess, right? <laughs> Well, yeah, they could have – well, there's no hurricanes nearby. So, I mean, that's the only way that Southeastern to be, you know, be rained out. It's once you guys come up here and play where it's dry and windy. Yeah, Rangers again on the road on Friday at Southeastern, followed by a doubleheader on Saturday, and then back at home against East Central 
uh, on April 5th and 6th. A Friday night game at 6 o'clock is our next broadcast, followed by the doubleheader at 1-4 and four on Saturday. And then, of course, coming up April 9th, you'll have the Tuesday game, uh, the Hot Dogs and Apple Pie game put on by the uh, Alumni Association Foundation Northwestern at Northwestern taking on Southern Nazarene at David Allen Ballpark. Looking forward to that. Uh, it's always a fun event coming up. Oh, sorry. I dropped the mic. <laughs> mic drop. But uh, that's pretty much going to wrap it up for us, I think, here, here this afternoon. And, again, uh, Rangers uh, picking up a, a nice victory again here today. Again, uh, as we said, they're 22nd of the season. And now they'll get back to Great American Conference play. And you know, wish them the best of luck at Southeastern, a chance to maybe go down and get two. Uh, definitely have an opportunity to get the series this weekend. I'll be tuned in for sure. No doubt. Coach, appreciate you joining me here again, and uh, we'll see you back here April 5th. Thanks, Justin. Thanks again to Steve Barrels for joining us here for the broadcast. So that'll wrap it up for us. We'll send it back to the studio, and then we'll get you out to Crenshaw Field for Alva Goldbug Baseball right after this. Again, keep it locked right here on Classic Hits 105.7.